don't sound like that. Yeah. Are, are I don't sound like either. Yet? No. No. Uh, that's going to be a good My fight. My friend at work said that he, he she's the only thing that he ever summoned anybody on. And I, I was like, I'm not doing it. I can't do it. Yeah, you can't. I, I fought her without summoning her. I was telling him that Sarah, like always, Sarah always, always says, you can just summon us. Okay. Like, hey, you can't. Just My, the latest here. try, I did magic. I beat her on my front. It's so easy. Killing her with magic. That's so bad fighting. Yeah, this, this fucker go, go walks in, goes, hold on, hold on, hold on, kills everything in three hits. And I'm like... Jesus Christ, you think that's hard? You just watch me. You, if if you use big weapons, weapons too, you can easily poise break. Uh, depends on the weapon. But you okay. have to be good at dodging. The grunt scraper doesn't really. No. Uh, doesn't really no. poise break. But I, I don't like using like pre spec things online that people already have like. Well, yeah, of course. For you you want to like make making my own thing. Yeah. So. I mean, my guy's basically nothing but strength and Yeah, I can't stamina. Yeah, really that, that, that's my current character. Okay, you know what? Well, no, I strength. think you need to respec and get the arcane stuff on. No, no, I need arcane for belief. Uh, uh, what people were doing against the last boss of the DLC, they were going full tank, and what they would do is they would poison the boss, and you're just all I I try and shield up the whole fight. fight while the poison kills the boss. Oh, well, that's the one way to do it. Because the... Right uh, Fucking last boss of the DLC is fucking insane. This is taking is. over the night. He's looking mad. Yeah, okay, yeah, we should start. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why? Well, it's getting grumpy. No. Sorry. <laughs> the fuck are they talking about? No, I'm just listening. I do like the guys who wield the two big hammers. I see online. They're just oh, yeah, wearing yeah, the yeah. two the colossal Umbabunga. hammers. The Umbabunga. Umbabunga. Umbabunga build. All you do is chomp and you fucking launch the giant hammers at <laughs> yeah. well, You know what? I, there was one fucking dude in a, in a cave that had two hammers, and one of them he could, like, throw, throw in the chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy sucked. He was a fucker. What, the Coliseum? No, it was, it was in one of those catacombs with the little goblin things. Uh, okay. Oh, the Coliseum, we figured out how to, like, <laughs> yeah, cheat that. that. You stand on a branch that faces off the cliff, hold a two, two-handed two shield, yeah, and they just fall off. Is the entrance to it, you have to fight three yep. of people's characters yep. in a row. But if you just get a, a, a great shield, double-handed, and run onto oh, a, a the, tree branch, the, they, they just run they get the you talisman and for it. It's one of the best That's the only reason game. I did that. It's, the best, it's one of the best talismans. Normally, I would, have fought, I would have tried to fight all three characters fair and square. But when we looked online, people were like, I saw I, I, some guy was complaining about it on Reddit. He's like, I, I've basically come to the conclusion that everyone is a mid-max character who uses a pre-built online bullshit. And uh, I, I just said, fuck it eventually. And that's, I was like, okay, if that's the case, my character is not going to do shit against any of these people. I, I would kill like one or two of them, but I could never kill all three. So I was like, fuck it. Oh, also, Great if you're going to bleed, you should get the v Varys mask. Uh, yeah, I think I'm trying to do bleed because it, it looks uh, cool If you go to the Blood too. World, uh, go through a path that gets you invaded by three of the white mask people. If you kill him, you get his mask, it's and the mask it. increases bleed damage. Wait, are those the God Slayer guys? Oh, okay, never mind. No. I'm at the fucking weird fairy town where the ladies are all, all these old ladies are dancing. Oh, oh I know where they're all Dancing yeah. village. Yeah. There's a God Are you doing any of the side quests? Because it's like a side quest for a girl in the Scarlet Rot area. I, was, I talked to her. I talked to her at the entrance to that area where she's like, oh, okay, hi again. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, oh, hi again. I'm, I'm just going to go fucking be Melania or some shit. And I was like, okay, cool, bye. Yeah. Okay. And then I finished her on these stuff. All right. I got her, <laughs> I got her shitty great sword. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys ready to start? Yeah. All right, let's, let's go. All right. Let's go. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah, we've, been, we've technically been live for 11 minutes. But... Yeah, we were just saying. It's okay, they get to they get the hit Elden Ring. The DLC's great. It's not hard. It's right, easy. Right. The remember, the bears, bears are friendly. Oh, there's a bunch of bears in the DLC. I, I'm the only one who probably bears are bears. friendly. Yeah, there's a lot of bear yeah, bosses. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. He looks excited. Let's go. We're finally starting. Yeah. I have no clue what you're talking about, but it's okay. I, I, Let's fucking go. Is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm ready, Mr. Krantz. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been ready for a while. Ready. Yeah. Ready. 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 I saw you press it. Raise your hand. Ready. 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 He raised his hand after. It's on. He's raising two hands. He's double. Right. Hi, welcome I'm back. Double. To the I'm so on. fucking ready. Lula. Hi, welcome back to the League of Roses. Is everybody excited to be here? Yeah! yeah, yeah. Look Sweet. at that. Yeah, wow. Hey, everybody clap. Yay. Yeah, we're yeah. Mitch alive. Not everybody clap, but uh, close. Uh, more than 75%. All right. Well, the League of Roses is a group of... Uh, monster hunters, and uh, sitting before you, you have the sky blue rose, which is made up of uh, four people, but there's five characters. Yep. And they are in the land of Barovia, and right now they are in a place called Yester Hill, where they are having a massive battle. But we'll get a uh, uh, nice uh, recap of that from someone at the table. But before we do that, we will uh, meet our players. They will introduce their. Uh, their characters, and then we have a, a nice little question for them to answer for their character, 
so that we can learn a little bit about their character. So uh, last time I uh, said, does anybody want to go first? And uh, I think we had a volunteer, and then we I shifted it, and then we shifted around. So what? I think I volunteered last time to go first. Did you go first? I think we made Drew go first. Oh, we made Drew go first, we and did. then it went to me. And that yeah, was kind of strange, yeah. We did okay. make Drew go first. So does anybody like to volunteer to go first tonight? No? Okay. Everybody wants to go last? I'll volunteer. I roll for it. Roll 20. Roll 20. Roll 20. Roll 20. Roll 20. Highest wins. I got a 15. I got an 8. I got a 9. I got Highest a 13 wins. and a 2. You got a 13? So I guess I win. Look at that. So I'm first. Look at that. Does that mean you're first or last? First. first. Oh, okay. All right. Hi, my is Raymond. Yeah, that's what he said. I never know. I never know. Okay. Uh, hi, my name's Richard, and I play the character Grutz Breaker. Grutz is a half-orc, gray, barbarian wizard hunter. His full title is barbarian wizard blood hunter. There we go. As it's the full title. I thought there was some fire in there somewhere. Well, the, the fire comes from an ability of the blood hunter. All right. Sorry, I thought there was fire starter or... I'm an I'm 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 interior decorator as well on the side. Ah, uh, okay. But okay. there's not many homes lately for me to decorate. No, there's not too many. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll find you some soon. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we'll find some soon. You've got that. You've still got there's your There's Drod's Castle. Yeah, yeah, he's looking for an interior decorator. If you decorator. look, there's no fucking windows. You know what? He's need, he, he needs some windows. Needs a lot of he needs some sunlight. Yeah. He does. You, you, can, you know what they say? Holes. The sun really makes the home pop. Yeah, it really makes a difference. Of... Yeah, you can make a difference, too. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, anything else you want to tell us, or I'll just ask you the question? You can ask me the question at this point. All right, at this point, we've just, we've heard about ourselves yeah. for hundreds of times. The only difference is the ball doesn't have a beard that can do stuff on its own. And within the beard is hold the mighty, the mighty fella. The mighty... The little fella. You know fella you could, Piddlewick. Piddlewick, yeah. Name. Describe a promise your PC made, but was unable to keep, and tell us why. So, you know... There comes uh -oh. many times in one's Sounds life complicated. Okay. where you make a promise, okay, and sometimes you can't keep that promise. That's what the question's about. Exactly. Yeah. You know, when when Grutz was hunting one time, he had to, he was hunting with a few pals. You know, we were we were sledding along with some wolves. He's okay. wolves to ride along. He was promised to keep the kids safe. Uh oh. But you can never know what can happen in the wilds. Those darn kids. Yeah, and so the darn kids went into the forest, and there were a lot of werewolves in that forest. Oh, boy. And as you know what kind of place Gretz lived in, it's he a very dangerous place. lived in a place with a lot of werewolves, so yeah. you think he would have known how to take care of kids around werewolves. You know how kids are, though. They don't listen yeah. to you. They no, don't they listen know. to the other. Yeah, 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 or you should have sticks. known better than to take them. Uh, Why did you take them? It's their first hunting. It was their first hunting. Oh, you took them hunting. Yeah. First time. Yeah. They, they didn't listen. They didn't listen to Gretz. And you know what? Five of them went, two of them came home. Oh, okay. Thanks to Gretz. What happened? They just got attacked? They got or... eaten. They got it? Yeah, Gr Gr Gretz Wait, didn't. Was that a promise you broke or they broke? I broke. I, told, I said I'd keep them safe. Oh. That's why I said there are promises you can say that can be out of your control to keep. Just like when you tell your kid, I'll be home all right when you're off to war. You never fucking yeah. know what's going to happen. Well, what happened? Did you lose sight of them or did they run over? No, he lost sight of them. The two kids wouldn't say a word of what happened. Okay. There was blood on them, but they never said so a word. They all, all the kids went one way and Gretz went the other. Well, Gr Gretz wasn't looking. He was taking a piss. Ah, uh, I see. He was preoccupied. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens when they're outnumbered. When, yeah, exactly. That, exactly. And then he went looking and he found them. And then guess what? Gretz got the greatest honor of never having to take kids out again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that pretty much uh, fixes it. It's Thanks for a very honor. bad babysitter. Yeah. Well, that's 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 too bad. Yeah, it's the way the wild. Is repercussions? Yeah, he wasn't. He was allowed to take kids out to okay. hunting. He was banned from taking kids hunting. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. He actually got the, the better end of the stick. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I would have thought somebody might have been a little more upset than that, but okay. no, it's like no a community. Or... I mean, shit. You don't know if any of the kids are actually yours or not in, in exactly. the tribe. Gross. Oh, is that right? It's a communal, it's a communal living. It's not a nuclear family. Exactly. You think everyone you don't raises know your them own together. Kid. Everyone raises like, them together. Gross says he has two to three kids, but he could have like eight. I could have done. He only has Grutz two or three that he knows. Grutz about. doesn't know what the ladies do. He knows. He only knows two of them. Though. Okay. Grutz, let's yeah, just yeah. say Grutz has never actually been in a loving relationship before. Just to do it. It, 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 it's, it's, it's one of those things, you know, it's like a victory. It's, a it's an animal instinct. It's like a victory dance. We, we, don't, we don't have Except a nuclear family. They're covered in blood after they've murdered so, so huge. Did you have to do anything to make up for the lost three? Yeah. Nothing. 
No, he had to work the night shift. Okay. <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for a whole year. So they for a whole year. So they the night put shift. him on a very look, strategic. They, look, they did it this way. They technically got rid of the weakest links. You have to time. understand. You have to That's understand. That's the last thing I would. You have, have to do. understand because it's a communal living. We get a lot of kids every year, uh, but the kids don't last a long time. See? So it wasn't such a big deal. No, no, it wasn't as big as you think. Oh, okay. It's, I'm it's, sorry. It's, it's it survival of the fittest. We don't name our kids until they're like five or six. How long does it take for your? Does it for a barbarian? Of birth, Bro. it's the same amount of time. It's nine months, so yeah. it's a long time to make a kid. Yeah, it's not like you can make them every three months. But maybe they have like. Well, we try every months. time. We try it. Yeah, trying. It's the, yeah. Maybe it's like an animal where they get litters. They have a litter of kids. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they live multiple at the same time. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of whelps. Yeah, you got the yearly, you got the yearly orgies. <laughs> now, how old were these kids? Well, how old is a barbarian yeah. when they were like five or six? Yeah. Pretty young. Oh, damn. <laughs> they, they have to hunt. Wow, you better, yeah, they have to hunt. You gotta grow up quick. It's, it's so, uh, it, 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 so look, wow. you don't get named until five you're six. You don't get named until you complete your first hunt. Oh my god! So oh, yeah. you're just it. Yeah, you're just it. Boy. Yeah, you don't have a name. Girl. Once you, you complete your hunt. How many girls? How many boys and how many girls? It's like 50-50. Oh, is it? well, they're yeah. five. They make sure that there's yeah. enough for everybody. Was there are two, two girls. girls. Two two girls. Did the two girls survive and no. three boys died? No, the two girls didn't survive. It was only two boys. Damn. <laughs> what a horrible story. What yeah, a horrible. horrible. <laughs> That's the kind of thing you just do not want to tell people. About. <laughs> That's what you asked when you break a promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not like in the game. Brett should be walking around saying, oh, don't give me your kids. No, kid. I won't say that. Don't let me get rid of kids. No, no, it it look, explains why he's so what? willing to chop down a girl what? running. With what? The what? It does. It what? left yeah. that life behind. Yeah, you were willing to, to throw your axe at uh, a little girl. Gretel. It's, well, how old was Gretel, right? She was five or six. See, yeah. she didn't have, in Brett's yeah. mind, yeah. she doesn't have a name. Just like she, in medieval, in medieval <laughs> yeah. periods, because they didn't know how long the kids would, you know, would be notice. alive, they didn't name the kids <laughs> until hey, they got past that age. I gotta do the night shift. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and the, once you know, the kids thought, get named, it was once the kids get named, that's when they become part of the community. And so, that's... It's like an official choice. It's like a uh, rite of passage. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I don't live there. Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> Uncle Grutz. <laughs> Watch it when Uncle Grutz takes you. Well, <laughs> I mean, there's that, that a lot of kids, but there's, there's only, you know, every year only a few. a few. Uh... Was it you and five kids? Yeah. Just you and five kids? Yeah. Nobody thought maybe we ought to send another adult. Wow. So, is it know. your first time with kids? Maybe no. it was his first time I'm being like... the leader of a child. Group. No, he says it wasn't his first time, so he's, oh, well, no, he no, had no. brought some back before. Okay, that's understand they're, they're never always all of them now it, it's a rite of passage they have to try for so themselves. some you're saying some of them always die yeah yeah oh it's a rite of passage. okay okay i thought you were they the have to hunt thought, it's their time i thought to you hunt. were a big fuck up I no, you, no 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 you're not supposed so, to, you're not supposed to let them die right it's a rite of passage so it's they, really they, they, they have to hunt an animal it's their own fault. it was their fault yes yeah, their came fault said, i'm sorry so well, should, let's so let's more, out of five. more out of than died than should have. I got two out of five. Yeah, it was a yeah, low percentage. Uh, so the it, it wasn't. He did lit, beat quota. I didn't beat quota. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't lit as your <laughs> fucking It answer. wasn't looked at as your fault. All those damn. Kids. That's why all I got was night duty. Those damn. His kids. turnover rate was a little high. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> they wanted two, of, but he got. Like, okay, that was horrible. That's just a horrible story. <laughs> All right, who's next? Which way do you want to go? You want to go right or you want to go left? You go clockwise. Okay. Okay, it says me. That Hi, I'm Sarah. Uh, I play two of the five characters. I play uh, the first one is N, short for Nigel. Gotcha. It he is a. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> He's an eighty-year-old human paladin for his goddess Ezra, Lady of the Mists. That's right. Yes, he yes. can't read. And he can only walk like seven feet right now. So he was 24 and he got advanced by age by something like a... By like 60 years. 60 years. And that was when the world blew up. Yes. Right. Okay, so... The reality itself was destroyed. This will be interesting because, you know, I, I'm quite positive Anne mm -hmm. doesn't make promises he can't keep. Mm -hmm. So describe a promise Anne made but was unable to keep and why. He told his parents he'd come home before he got too old. <laughs> <laughs> oh darn! Yeah, it's like what Odysseus said. So he's supposed to return home, and he's got to figure out. Oh gosh! Yeah, he didn't, he didn't take into account that you could be cursed in age. So he still has a chance, though. 
He still has a chance. There's a chance. You but know, he unless, doesn't see that chance coming. Uh, yeah, unless if God lets him roll more than a D8. He's closer. <laughs> he's coming closer. <laughs> I honestly. It was a good gift. I, 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 I he, never, he's coming yeah, closer. I haven't heard the end of that. <laughs> he's coming closer to, and closer to seeing his God than he thought he would. Roll a D8 plus 20. You know, I should have given you an extra. You should have just a D20. Or he's a hundred, and if he goes below that, he, he died. died. Yeah, that he dies. Yeah, we, don't <laughs> want to lose. Oh, we don't want to lose. We don't want to lose. And I think <laughs> set like a minimum that I can go down to, but I haven't like roll like. A well, I thought I thought the I thought. Oh well, anyway. Okay, so like but there's still a chance. There's a chance. So he hasn't broken a promise up. yet, really. He thinks he'll break it, but yeah. I guess his other big promise that he's made, but he's still keeping, is his, his oath and his uh, loyalty to his goddess. Yeah, right? He's, he, he hasn't broken that, right? Nope. He, he probably doesn't make many promises. Though, right? He doesn't make many and he doesn't break them. Yeah, Russ doesn't make many promises anymore. <laughs> he breaks most of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's good. My uh, second character is W, short for William. He is N's younger brother. He's 27. Yeah, 27, and he's a witch for the Coven of Steel. So witches make promises all the time. Yeah, he, they do. Yeah, they don't care. I think so. the, the biggest promise he made was that he was going to stay loyal to the Coven, and he did not, and he abandoned the Coven. And he's got their eye on his stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, seriously. So um, uh, <laughs> there's no ramification <laughs> to that. Oh, if they find him. Oh, okay. If they find him, what will they do? Uh, they'll probably try to turn him into a hag. That's why he left. Yeah, you said they were going to turn him into a hag. He didn't want to turn into a hag. They just didn't like him at all. No, well, that's kind of like how they become part of the coven. Is you join? He didn't know when he joined. It was kind of like a cult thing. He kind of got brought it. He kind of got tricked into it. So he came. He learned some spells, and then they tried to do some rituals, turn him into a hag, and he didn't quite like that ritual, so he left. He says, "Oh, I, I like my lower parts. Uh, sorry." Yeah. Gotta leave. Hmm. That just sounds sort of like a, a knucklehead. Hmm. I hate to say that. Hmm. He's kind of a dimwit. Kind of a dim. Yeah, but to be dim. fair, he has eight intelligence. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That makes he's sense. He's a little dumb. He is dumb. Yeah, he's a little airhead. You know what? Grace has eight intelligence. You know, she's just pointing that out. You there. play him way too smart. Uh, okay. That's I do wisdom. Hmm. And wisdom is right from hmm. wrong, right? Wisdom is. Gretz right did right let from three wrong. of the five kids die. Two that's kids. right and wrong. That's, that's low wisdom. Okay. Your intelligence is low, or your wisdom? Hmm. His intelligence is low. I mean, his wisdom's not that great either. What's his wisdom? Fourteen. No, Which no that's pretty that's, good. That's that's better, that's but good. you should know right from wrong. That's my wisdom. That's right from wrong. He knows okay. right from wrong, but he doesn't know tricks. Yeah, he doesn't know like smart numbers. Hmm. Things like that. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, well, we'll see what happens. You're in a land with some witches, you know. I know. Maybe they're part of the coven. They may uh, try to get him joined. Yeah. If they learn what's in his tummy. Oh, yeah, they'll like it. They would want uh, that, Because a they? lot of other covens want the eye of yeah, another coven. Yeah, you want the eye. That's the most important mm -hmm. thing, isn't it? Right? Because otherwise you keep, they can't see a thing, right? Yep. That, you, now, that's, that's just the three, right? Usually there's three witches that keep Yeah, seeing. there's three. Yeah, I think if you destroy the coven's eye, they get blinded for a period of time. I'm sure they're blinded forever. Something, there's some effect to that regard. I'm wondering if they know what they're looking at. <laughs> no, I, they probably do not. They probably don't have a clue what they're looking at, what they're some seeing. Some freaking like, stomach and then cast in a wall. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah stomach. They, they look, they look, there's another eye. I think it's interesting Whoa. that you can control the snake. I, I have a video and not have that thing go we, further down. We have a video to show you about which is coming during the break that's really funny. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is it something we can't show on here? No. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, next up we have. Hi, I'm Mike. I play uh, Reedy Woodward, the Leather Wizard. Leather Wither. Leather Wither. Leather Wither. Leather Wither. And the Fathom. Yeah. He's uh, very lucky. He's got a fedora. Man. He's got, he's got a fedora. He's got a sky blue fedora with clouds. He's, he's got six a two. black cape with yellow lighting bolts. He's got nice big glasses. He's 6'2". He does wear glasses. I don't know what else he wants. Does he have big shoes? Face. No. Does he have big feet? Like no, he's got, he's got nice platform what's his, what's shoes. What size is his feet? He's got platform oh, shoes. He's like nine and a half, ten. Wow, that's tiny. What are you talking six, about? I wear eleven and a half. For a six foot two guy? Okay. You're what? Because they're tall doesn't mean they have to have huge fucking feet. That's mean. Goddamn. I have a nine. Is he 6'2 with these platinum shoes? Well, you're too fucking small. Is he 6'2 <laughs> with these platinum shoes on or off? Uh, on. Okay, so off. Not, no, off. off. So, with platinum shoes, we need to keep this in mind. He's actually taller than Gratz. 
But he's wearing his platform shoes. He's probably two inches tall. Oh, he has platform shoes. He has platform shoes. He's not wrong. And if he wears a pointy how? hat, he's even taller. How effective? It looks like he goes to a go-go How bar. effective can you be? Yeah. How can you travel and walk in those things? Oh, my God. What Does a, he have any piercings? What a no. What a wacky weather. Not that you can he see. He doesn't have a belly button piercing? No. Is he got I any mean, tattoos? That's such a thing. That's, Is that that's what you asked? He doesn't have a lot of things. He has finger left gloves. Does he have tattoos? No. Does he have a mustache? That, no. That's a disgusting, filthy thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> How dare you! All right, I'm sure he's made a promise and wasn't able to keep it. Yes. All kinds of promises. It was very recent. Yeah, it's gonna be with the blue rose. Uh, yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, he he promised them. Yeah, he he stayed. He stayed in the town, the previous town that they were adventuring in, to make sure everything was good and that the weather was fine as well. He said yeah. to his cohort, his leader. He said, "I promise you, I will meet you in this specific place at this specific time on this specific day with this specific weather." Uh, is that in the future, or is it already passed? Uh, it's already passed. Oh, no, yeah, 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 it's already passed. Uh, and that might be why they ditched him. Well, no, 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 they didn't ditch him. That's part of the story. They didn't ditch him. No. So he met up with them at the time. However, he was five minutes late. Oh, no! Yeah, and by the time he walked into the tavern, the blue rose had been turned into blue vampires. Oh, Jesus! Blue vampires? Yeah, they were like blue vampires, weren't they? Somebody was a blue fucking vampire! It's a... Blue. So they blue? Yeah, they were. Pale blue is like rigor mortis set in blue. No, they were they were the blue rose, and they were attacked by a, a, a great gang of vampires. So blue. And they thought he was dead, and they left him. No, fired. but my yeah. my saying they were actually blue, blue skin colored. No, I think they no, were yeah. like blue. They were avatar. No, no, no. no. Yeah, they thought they were like the fucking avatar. That's why I was confused. No, no, yeah, no, no. That's why I was like, does he? That's why I thought he said rigor mortis. Never mind, they weren't blue. Smurfs, yeah. Never mind, they weren't blue. They did Smurf over there. They did attack him. However, he was able to grasp upon the great leader's shirt and grab one thing: the leadership badge. And he ran. Who was the leader? I don't remember. I think it was a paladin. Uh, probably the barbarian. The paladin. Probably the barbarian. I think it was paladin the paladin. The barbarian. I, uh, it doesn't it's... matter. He grasped upon their shirt and... I know. She was the leadership. I do have them yeah, listed. I have yes. them. I still have them. That one was like the, the scariest one. Yeah, they were they were, they were going to find him. One. They were going to find him. Does he have rage and he has to reach and is a vampire? He used it as many non-lethal... Well, 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 if, he, if the paladin's a, a vampire, if he worships a god, he might not get the boon from the god anymore. Oh, they had the boons. Mm. Yeah, you had a paladin, an oath breaker, a priest. Whichever one was the leader. An oath breaker. They, they did attack him. Because if you if Fala upholds your paladin oath, you, you become, become an oath breaker. Paladin. Hmm. Which means you still get powers and shit for being an oath breaker, hmm. but you're more evil. Hmm. Well, this paladin is long gone. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was done in by another paladin. Not by Woody. Or w w no! R R Reedy. Reedy, 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 Reedy didn't, Reedy didn't fight by them. There was too many of them. Right. All he did was make sure to grasp the, the leadership badge so that the blue rose doesn't die out. And he, he used a couple of vaps and a couple of frost bison. What does the leadership badge look like? Uh, I've shown the leadership oh, badge show multiple us the times. Pictures? Oh, okay. Yes. Hmm. It says leader of the camera. It's like a little, it's like a little, like, badge. Like a police badge. Camera? We have to see what it looks like. Badge. We gotta make a new badge. Is it's it? like a little police badge with a blue oh, rose on it. It says leader right at the top. That's pretty good. That was a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Does it say Los Angeles Police Department on it? <laughs> it's in the shape of the LAPD badge. Yeah? Kind of, yeah. Oh, it's an open mouth. It reminds me of Let's like the animals camera. now. Oh, Richard, go ahead and put it on camera. Uh, we'll see. So you've uh, you've got a, uh, a badge. Uh, go zoom in a little more. Does it say leader on it? Yeah, it says leader at the top. And is there a blue rose on it? Yeah. yeah. It's like a black rose. It's like purplish. Well, you kind of don't have like any a... colors, do you? Yeah. It's dark blue. It looks like a gray The white rose doesn't have a badge. We no, don't, we have, don't. Don't we have, have like tattoos? We have tattoos. These guys have much more tattoos. You don't have tattoos? I don't care. I don't care. You don't have tattoos. No, the blue rose had, they all had tattoos. No, the, the, the old the old white rose had cat tactics. Either that or yeah. Either that or I think they did. Are we yeah, added? Did. We, yeah, we, I don't think so. We gave ourselves We gave tattoos. ourselves tattoos. Do they had tattoos? Yeah. Yeah. No, none of us did. Uh, none of the current ones do because they, the old ones that had it died. 
I don't, I don't remember that. Oh, Every Chadwick had one. Long ago. Yeah. Long ago. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I think that was was that. Oh, you met them and we should have. He, he, and you we should have. Yes. Okay. We should have met. No steal. Earrings. No, no, no. no. He on we, the latest show. Here's the thing. Here's the no. thing. Because they were dead, technically. This, they were dead. He was next in line. This is the best idea ever. He's the leader of the Rose now. You know, All if right, you have continue. something showing, if we have something showing, it can alert the enemies that we're part of the Rose. So I suggest we all get tattoos again, but on our left ass sheet. <laughs> all of them on the less well, I'll let you guys vote on it. That's the main sky blue rose. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not green and not, not and will never be the white rose. He's the blue rose. I'm fine right. if it's sky blue rose. It's where it has to be the left cheek. If we see someone off a right, we presume they're a goonie. <gasps> they're a doppelganger. Yeah. If you oh my god, it. that's the perfect thing. Yeah. So not they know. Yeah. But they have a 50 50 chance to get it right anyway. Exactly. But they wouldn't yell that we had the tattoos unless they struck the person naked. That's why. That's my point. They'll never know. Oh, they're looking at and they they get it backwards, right? Yeah, yeah. they get on the right side, actually. Yeah. And they're so like, oh, you yeah. got it. Yeah. Or you could out. get it on the inside of your our lips. No, that's disgusting. Mm -hmm. I, like the, I like the left. I like the what left. What happens if you change your color again? We 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 just painted a new fucking <laughs> color. Nothing is in Okay. That threw you for a curve. For a yeah, week. it did. Okay, finally we have. Hi, my name is Michael, and I play the character Lazarus. Lazarus is a warlock who made a patron or a pact with a uh, djinn, and his djinn is a djinn of the earth, which means he has some earthline abilities, as well as his regularly used warlock abilities, such as other class. And it also gives him like several fe features, such as flying and stuff like that as well. And so my character. So my character has white hair, uh, he has a scar running down his chest, actually two scars, and his left hand has always been bandaged up. You gotta get that bandage off, guys. Yeah, I know. And he has no blood. Yeah, he has no blood. You drip very little blood. Okay. That's a very significant uh, uh, item to me. Yeah, it means my abilities can't work on him if he doesn't and have blood. And the promise he made yeah. that he felt to... doing my instructions. The promise so he made make sure that he felt to keep is that... A long time ago, he promised that he would protect the love of his life, his, the love of his life, but he failed to do so and he ended up dying. And that's what uh, my you look up at the ghost is. Things. I it does. Wow, that's very sad. You're not no, listening not over there at the other end of the table. How rude you are. You guys are fucking So, uh, how long were you married? Uh, like half, well, let's say like uh, half a decade. So half a decade, five years. Five years. Yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> easier way to put it. And, uh, and what did she die from? Uh, he was given to Strahd. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh, shit. The villagers gave her up to mm. Strahd as a form of, like, a keys man. Mm. Ah. For, and my character was basically out going to different towns because he was a uh, wandering bard almost. So he wasn't there? Yeah, he wasn't there when it happened. And he only learned when he came back. Does this have anything to do with the lottery that they do in the village of Barovia? Do you remember Maybe. that? Okay, I won't go Maybe. any further. I won't go any further. Okay. It might have some significance to that. Or, or did she become similar. a wife? It, it Whoa! Basically, it basically what are, what are led, wives in the coffin? We were, yeah. It basically led to the uh, exodus of where he ended up now, kind of. It was kind of like the catalyst. So, so is she, she dead? Yeah, yeah doesn't he didn't see her. He doesn't know. Yeah. We may have some motivation going on here. Oh, shit. We may have learned a lot here. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Maybe she's a wife. Or yeah. was a wife. In a coffin well, in a basement. Yeah. Because you remember he has a lot more wives than he currently shows because they're, he gets a, tired of them. They get put in the coffin. Go, go back and... That's interesting. Yeah, this is interesting. So this yeah. is a reason to go and kill Strahd, at least. Got some he blames, does he blame Strahd yeah. or the village? He blames both of them. But by the time he got back to the village, it was already completely destroyed. Okay. By what? Da, da, da. Yeah, by what, indeed. Okay. Oh, I remember. I think I know why, what it was. You mentioned the flood. Ah. Did he mention that? I don't think so. He did. He mentioned a flood. We've heard somebody else talk about it. You and he, he was about that? He is undead, so he could have been alive. Casimir talking about that. Casimir is the dusk elf. 
Yeah, but he talked about it too with someone. Last you did, week? right? Uh, You're saying anything. I think you did. I think he talked you think about he the did? flood. I don't remember yeah. him talking well, about it. He's a That's dead. why what I've learned here, this is kind of, <clears throat> we've learned a lot about him. Interesting. Okay, good. Well, I'm not going to dig anymore. That's good. I mean, you already offered up quite a bit. So Were you an elf and she was the lady that they didn't... Well, does he have long ears? No. He does well. not. But That's why I asked. You look? I think I remember him saying it, and then I remember asking, does he have long ears? I'm just wondering... Do you know what my no. character said? I said, did you ever check? Yeah, that's what he, That's what happened. I asked him, oh, and he's like, did you ever check? I remember this. Okay. I think yeah. that was just whether he was a, a dusk yeah. elf or whether he was an elf. Not necessarily anything to do with a Where with his is wife. The little dice. But we do know he's from a my town dice. that is no longer existing. Constantly. I knew that. Okay. Well, there you go. That's why you do these questions, right? It gets exactly. every little bit. There's a crack. Get it gets, it gets a bit spicy. Things, including how some people kill <laughs> children. Okay. Well, now we're going to go to the recap. Uh, and this is the exciting time where we learn if anybody was awake. Whose turn is it? In the last, uh, last, uh, last, uh, last oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> okay. So no, I think it's Richard. I think it's it's his turn. Yeah. Wow. It's your turn. Hard. So go ahead and oh. give us oh, a. I'm a, bad at character names. A recap. Yeah. Well, you can give us. I'm very bad at character names. Just do it however you feel. <laughs> do I have to do it? On D and D. Yeah, wow, exciting, guys. We were, we are an adventure crew called the Sky Blue Rose, and we were traveling upon Yester Hill. Last time we left off, we were just about at the top. Of Yesterhila, and as we were making our way to finish going up top, just we about. were accosted I, by. You're at the top. We, we were just about at the top. You're we at had, the top. No, no, at, at the start of it, we were just about. Oh, oh, oh I'm going I back see. to the beginning. Okay, all right, okay. Last time at D&D, we were just about at the top when we were confronted by an other uh, druid and two undead. So we battled those druid and two undead, and then after we killed them both, we made it to the top. Upon there. And took a mighty fall and sprained his ankle once again, causing mm -hmm. his wound speed to be halved again to five feet. <laughs> Making him wonderful. Seven. And, said, and so when we set our eyes upon the top, we saw a bunch of druids in a circle doing a ritual, with one specifically in the middle, also taking part of the ritual. And that's when we realized that we didn't have much time left until the ritual was complete. And so we all tried to book it towards the tree from which the... Uh, one old druid guy who was on Grutz's back, which I don't remember his name, Shalane. Shalane, mentioned. And so we raced over there, some of us being slower than others. And so Grutz and Reedy and the, uh, what's the chick's name? Elder Grutz. It's like, a, it starts with an M. Come on, Sarah. Millicent. On. I, I just want to see if you guys can get it. Uh, Magda Mer Mar Merwin or? No. <laughs> Uh, you're close. Fuck. Uh, I, I'm close. It's a normal name. <laughs> it's a it's a normal name. Melinda. It's a normal name for a girl. Amaranth. It's mm, those are not normal. Man. With an M. Mm. It starts with an M, right? Michelle. It starts with an M. Okay. Michelle. See, okay, I have to. I, have, I hate to put it. Mindy. Other than Sarah, Miriam. There we go. Miriam. Good Miriam. job. Good job. Yeah. Fuck yeah, we did it. Points. Me. Points for the boys. All right. <laughs> Okay, and who is she? She is a member of the Seekers of the Feather, who is part of the family in uh, Seekers the of... blood and the winery. Okay. Yeah. So she's helping. She's you... helping us reach Yester Hill, but then she said, "I'm going to do more than just guide you there. I'm going to help you through this crisis." So she's been acting as a scout yes. for you. Yes. It's okay. True. It's true. So, what was the significance of her? Let's see. You were talking about Grutz. Reedy and Muriel. Muriel, as well as Shaolin, because he's on my back. We're, we're riding over to the tree. And why to, are you headed to the tree? Uh, because they're about to complete a ritual that will bring to life the Wicker Man. And we're there to stop it. And the only way to stop it is by stabbing the heart in the uh, tree in Yester Hill. Okay. Well, do you know why? Uh, because a vampire has been trapped underneath there. there. And okay. if we do not, he'll be his soul will be freed and be put into the Wicker Man. There you go. So it's vampiric. Yep. Which is important. It's yep. evil. Okay. It's evil. Okay. So the three of you have run past the Wicker Man. Yep. And what is going on with the Wicker Man? Uh, there's a bunch of druids in a circle and uh, probably one of the leaders of the druids in the center doing a ritual calling the name of the Wicker Man to bring forth the... Uh, the spell that would cause the vampire soul to enter the wicker man's body. Okay. And uh, what's happening there? Uh, they're just chanting in the center. There's a bunch of blood on the ground. And uh, 
I think that's mainly what was happening. Uh, right? Yeah, he keeps going higher, and then some Strix keep was attacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, knows. so that the, while that was happening, Lazarus came into the ritual circle, and he put three of them into some sort of daze using color spray. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. Hypnotic yeah. And then uh, he's been annoying them, and so some of the druids started going after him, and specifically two of those owl creatures flew up after okay. him. And so N's making his way over there, and Very W slow. is helping as well. N is limping as well. Right there. <laughs> and then over where Muriel, Grotz, Sh- Shillin, and uh, Reedy is, we were accosted by three more enemies. So Grutz ran ahead, and sadly, when he was running ahead, one of them hit <laughs> Sh- Shyla, who was on his back, and he died, unfortunately. Okay, so you lost your, your druid helper. Yeah. We lost our druid helper. Your, your uh, sacrifice, your seer, right? yes. the man who was leading you, sort yes. of telling you what to do. And so Muriel and Reedy was left in that destination to attack the three remaining guys. Okay. And to hopefully, once they finish them off, continue onwards to help Grutz. Okay. And we Grutz did. And then Grutz continued to run. He yeah. made it to the tree. Yeah. He, he went into the tree face first, but he planted his face face first into the ground. Yeah. And during that time, he saw a giant red heart, beating heart in the tree. And another druid worshipping the heart and saying a bunch of prayers. Yeah. And when Grutz face planted, the heart reacted and did a bunch of whips attacks on Grutz. And then Grutz ran for it, started stabbing the tree. And as he's been stabbing the tree, he's been constantly getting hit by both the heart and the druid. Okay. And that's basically it. Okay. And what is Grutz using to attack the blood spear that he got from the spirit of Kavan? Okay. All right. Very good recap. All right. So we're basically in the middle of battle, and we've been battling it out through this whole sort of last time was, I'm going to put on my battle music. Um, So I'll go ahead and describe a little bit of what's going on a little further. We've got rain going on. So I'm going to go ahead and start up your rain. Weathery. Yes. Weathery, I mean. With, without, the, without the weather, with, with the, weather, the, weather, the, weather, the weather within himself. The weather, yes, the weather within uses the rain to call upon the lightning, for the lightning bolt fell. All right. The weather. The weather. So let's zero in here weather on the wizard. top area first, and you can see. Um, There's us. Our, uh, we don't have our camera on it, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to um, gotta deal with the fan because hmm. it keeps. Hmm. Blowing on me. So I'm just Put it blow it. Face it towards me. It's hot. You guys. And I was like, me. All of it towards you. Yes. Of course. Just everything. <laughs> I'm the so weather wizard. I need the, the wind. Weather, the weather wizard is. The weather wizard okay. needs the wind. We can't just make it. All right. It's hotter than hell. So. My back is moist. <laughs> all right. My ass is sweaty. All right. Above at the top. He got that. Very sw- itchy. He got that swamp ass. Everything is itchy. <laughs> You, the team, are faced with towering megaliths. He's soaring about 20 feet high into the sky. Of trees? So sort of like, uh, uh, like a, a Stonehenge. Oh, that's crazy. All around there. Dominating the center of this ancient site is the colossal wicker man. He's 50 feet tall. He eclipses the stone sentinels around him. You basically have seen a picture of him. He's made out of twigs, twigs. And, and, and wood and everything. He's got a face. He's got legs and arms. His belly as a wicker man is somewhat open inside of him, and I haven't, didn't do a very good job of describing, so I want to describe it more there. Inside of him, you could see that there was a person, something going on. You could see a person, and as this druid leader who's leading the chance was, he would go up to this pe- person and he would stick his hand in there and almost like stick him in his spear and with like what would appear to be a dagger or his fingernails or something okay. drawing blood. At the wicker man's feet, there's two druids out of the five that continue to chant. They have a fervent chant that their their voices are like howling up in through the wind, through the air. There's three other druids that are frozen at this time. Their eyes seem like keenly looking ahead of them, but they're not chanting in unison with the others. While they were all chanting, the wicker man inside of him, you could see a green glow. And you're here trying to get a green gem. Yes. Oh, it's in the the wicker man. Huh? It's in the wicker man. So inside you're seeing a green glow within the the wicker man. But as the chanting stopped, 
because Lazarus laid his spell on three of these guys. The glow has sort of stayed the same. And the wicker man, who was kind of making some movements and stuff, has stopped. So the single shaman stands in front of those two, or those three, or all five of them, excuse me. Um, and with his staff and hands, and he's stabbing inside, like I said, into the wicker man's belly. You can hear screams, and you can realize now that it's not just one person that's in there, but there's more than one. And you can see, like, the wide eyes of this one individual, like the victim that's trapped within. He's being pierced by various twigs and vines. He's covered in blood. It's like the wicker man is drawing blood out of him. Mm. It's like it's drawing his life right. out of him. You can see a stream of sickly green magic flowing from each of the chanting druid's staffs toward the statue at the center. So they've got their staffs sort of laying down next to them, and this green, icky, glowing shit is going into the wicker man. And inside, you can see that there's something going on. It's like something's forming. Right now, it doesn't have any kind of, uh, of uh, shape, per se. It's starting to form. The green gem, again, has it remained at a consistent glow. There is some sort of nation form growing within the statue through the magic of the ritual. Up above, I believe he's 160 feet above, Lazarus is circling, right? Yeah. Okay. Above the mountain top, there's a Stregan that's circling, but the Stregan is a little lower. I believe the Stregan, you it went up and exactly I think... exactly 70 feet below. It's like 70 feet, yeah. There is another Stregan that has been brought down by Lazarus. It's laying over here w to the side. Messing it up. There should be a chicken somewhere. I don't see the chicken. Hmm. There's supposed to be a representative hmm. chicken. Hmm. Oh no, the chickens escaped the coop. Oh god. The chicken has flown the coop. So let me uh, let me grab that was at the Abbey. There's the famous chicken. Because they're so small, they're kinda hard to see. The, the almighty place it is. To, in our software, uh, which is uh, Foundry Tabletop, we have that uh, uh, chickens that are that are representing two streams. Strix, excuse me, greater Strix. Each of them, one of them kind of defending against Lazarus who's circling above, and one below. W has been casting spells because W is kind of pissed. W has been accused of being. Someone's Doing a laid back wizard. I had a war. Well, he said he wasn't. Or, or what is he? A witch. They thought ended all the time. <coughs> he doesn't we, do any of the work. Basically, the whole thing was we never noticed W. <laughs> and then last yeah, game, we forgot out. W's turn twice. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> W is like true. casting the uh, shit out of stuff and throwing crap at this street. And then you see N five to six turns away. So, what I have already <laughs> done for you yet yeah, is I have taken. Uh, I, we forgot to move Ann. Ann is struggling mightily. He's got a, a bad back. Basically. He's carrying armor, and he's got his now twisted ankle. He's 80 years old. He's 80 years old. He's so in his paper. So I have basically moved him to approximately like where he would be based on the number of Makes rounds. Makes sense. The number of rounds that since you cast that have gone past, I looked on the video, of last week is five. Okay. So we're on our sixth round. We were, we actually said we thought we were at six, and we are. Okay. okay. I wasn't sure if we completed so six, we but like we have Six more rounds of the... You have five. It's like how many uh, seconds per round? Um, there's generally... One second per every, round. Every round is about five to seven seconds. Oh, I might be wrong. Five to seven every seven turn seven. is five to seven okay, seconds. Okay, so it's like ten. So it's about ten. Yeah, yeah. we're going to just make it ten. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Out in the night, W, you can see a growing black cloud, dark black cloud, cloud that's rolling its way towards the wall here at the battlefield. It's going to shock Further us. down, uh, having tried to run as far as they could, is Muriel, um, who uh, has just completed finishing off one of the druids, one of the druids that was fighting and trying to halt the movement. And Reedy took off and ran. Right. While Muriel was finishing up, so not in a cowardly manner. So Reedy, Don't make it sound under like he Muriel ran because advice, he wanted to. Muriel said, "Go, That's go right. to help Grutz, because right. right now all you have is Grutz. That's right. 
who is attacking the tree. Maybe what was it going to save the day? Shit, even if Gretz beats the tree, he's going to get beat by that fucking druid. Really? So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, uh, Richard, call high or low? Okay, high. Okay, so we're going to start with the group that's up top. We're not going to start with you. That's fine. Okay, so that's okay because I just did all that description of what's going on up here. So we're going to go back. We've already rolled for our initiative. Let me think if there's okay. anything else. Hmm. No. So we're good. So we have our, we have our initiative. We should be starting, I think, back at the top. Yeah, we're at there the top. There are no undead priests uh, left to deter you. Let me just make sure to get rid of those. Okay. All right, so, so I'm still not quite sure how you rolled a 21 on initiative, but that's the first time I've ever heard that, but that's okay. It's so add next to your initiative. You, I didn't know you could add modifier. Modifier. Yeah, modifier. Yeah, modifier. Modifier to your initiative. Which, Which one, the dex? Yeah, dex. Uh, okay, that's fine. So we'll have Lazarus start us out. Um, we're in the heat of battle. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and... I get a minus Continue two to my dex modifier. And at some point, we'll <laughs> we'll what we'll do. We'll do a <laughs> round two. here, and then we'll go down and we'll, okay. we'll go to Grutz. Yeah, well, yeah. And maybe we'll just go back and forth. Okay. That way we can kind of keep our tabs on what's going on. Okay, uh, so I am going to cast uh, Elder Blast and the bird guy who's like 70 feet below me. So let's see. Oh, you're turning on the one Sarah's That's, uh, yeah, yeah, one. I got a nat one. I got a nat one and a fifteen. Starting off great. Starting off with the fucking so magic dice. Let me just check. The Stregan, I think you miss him. That is not the way we wanted the team to start out. No. <laughs> it happens. I haven't been rolling well lately either. I mean, last game I rolled a one and fucking landed my face. I rolled two nat ones in a row. I had my face in the goddamn thing. I would have got something worse, I feel, but Drew. <laughs> you know, when you start your, uh, you start the game off with a nat one, that. Yeah, really we'll, we'll find out about the nat one here. Hold on. A good four, it doesn't really point the out. The forecast isn't looking good. Yeah. Here in Ravenloft. Okay, so you rolled a 15, so your second one will hit. Okay. But since it is your first, let's go ahead and uh, let's make it count as your first before we do any of your grief. Because you never know what might so happen. So I'm doing adult mind damage. Well, we'll see. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Depending on the the bad. Well, yeah. actually, you know, the spell. It's one spell that gets split off into two blasts. So okay. It's so it's okay. Yeah. So it happened like concurrently. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let me turn it back on. Man, imagine if I rolled the one though. Mm. I'd be mm. worse. Oh yeah, no, that would be good. I'm gonna my roll into. So for our one, we have our critical hits dice. Which I, uh, and so far it hasn't been too bad on any of these things. Nothing like, uh, well, you lose, your, got, uh, lose your gut balls or something. Yeah. Uh, that happened to a character. I don't think that's on here. I'm pretty positive that one's not on here. Special okay, edition. so... I'm gonna go... I think it does have pretty hard stuff, though, on it. Yeah, but it makes it interesting. Yeah. It makes it fun. Yeah. yeah, sometimes sometimes you gotta roll the negatives. Like when my character for two to three years had his dick sewn to his thigh. I, I just feel like with the <laughs> way we play, it should probably be like the time should be shortened. Because usually like a week. And okay, so take us. Each of these has um, two oh, yeah, high actions. High so you pick it. Tell me which you want. Higher. Oh yeah, roll. And we'll just uh, do higher. Low. It's okay. I got a three. You got a three. So that's the low. So roll a six. Oh wait a minute. Bleeding. You're bleeding 1d6 HP per round. Okay, I don't know how that works. Uh, it comes out of your, uh, your staff gives you a splinter. You get a fucking big splinter on you. You got a big splinter. It's just bleeding out of How many rounds I take? You've never the noticed. Force, before. The force of the Eldritch I mean, Blast what? put how a piece of wood out of place for? and gave him a splinter. Until we're done. And it's in the it's nail. It's just said. Oh, until mm -hmm. we're done. Until we're done. Oh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. die. Hmm. <laughs> oh, death by splinter. Okay, hold on. Let's not do that. So go ahead and roll a 1d6. I don't want you to die. I don't want you to die from something like that. So roll a 1d6. <laughs> <laughs> every round. 1d6 in the number of rounds. 
Six. Oh, that's a two! <laughs> okay. That's okay. fine. Six, six rounds of Wendy Six. I, I can't control Death that. Death by Splinter. That's only Death fair. by Splinter. Death by Splinter. But as long as you don't roll six, it's 1d6. Yeah. So, okay. So what did you roll the first time? I got three. Okay. And then, how much did you hit? Four? Nine? I hit nine. He gets knocked back ten feet. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's already on the floor, how? But it's down. Do I have a saving roll? Oh. Or is it... No, it just hits. Just hits? I thought there was a save. So he gets forced back 10 feet, so now he's. Oh, well, the hit is what's the roll to hit. Yeah. Okay. There's no save so, to it. So he's like, now he's 80 feet away from me. Exactly. No, he was. Was he 70? He, he was 70 feet below, okay. now he's 80 feet away. Okay. The reason why I keep him pass on that is because those things have 60 feet base movement. Which means it can get up to you, but it would count as a spray. Yeah. Okay, all I gotta do is find my numbers. Sorry. I have a whole list of mystery of everybody's. I know, I like the music. Here we go. It gives me like banjo vibes. Okay, so this is the first time this guy has been hit. Uh, Okay, so he's back 10 feet. So it's his turn. So he's going to rush to you. So, he, can, so he can go. He's not gonna dash, cause but he can fly 60 feet. To you. So he won't reach him. And then uh, I need you to roll a 20. And you need to beat a 17. I uh, is there any modifiers? Yeah, I, I think you get your typical modifier. Is it? A, is it's, it a, it's a wisdom. Wisdom. Uh, I fell. Okay. So in your mind, you hear this suggestion that says. One word. Oh, it's good. I know. Oh, I'm using command. So, su- uh, suggestion. Fall. Oh, okay. um, suggestion doesn't work quite like. Uh, oh, because he can't do something that can hurt you, technically. Right. He's he, going to say a light. Do you know what a light means to a bird? No. It means land. Oh, okay. He's not going to say land. I was going to say land. But then you might say, oh, there's the land. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, he wants you to okay. drop. Descend him. would also work. Huh? Descend. This, he wants him to land. Okay. So that's why I said a light. Rather than descend can imply, oh, I'm just going down. That's right. But a light means, like, you actually. But you, 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 should, honor, you should honor the spirit of it, though. Okay. Next up, we have uh, M. Who's M? That's Muriel. Muriel. Okay. Muriel's down there. Um, I'm going to defer Muriel right now. And I'm going to go to the other strips. Okay, Muriel's going to, what do you call it when she... Uh, she's going to do something. She's going to gonna... hold her action. So she's, no, she's not going to hold her action. She's, she's going to... Aggravate or... Uh, she's going to. Nobody's looking at her. Disengage, right kind of. Like. Yeah, she's disengaged. I'm just going to say that. Okay. All right. So the other Strix is going hmm. to. Let's see. How far away are you from it? I think we put it over here by. He this. should be simple. He was like. Right yeah, here, he was right he? there. He was right there. Something like that. So I think he's, he, he's close enough for you to hit him, right? I could throw my sword. Yeah, like 30 feet, like yeah. 25 feet or something. Yeah, he's close enough to W. Okay. Um, okay. As you're looking at him, he's going to fly this way, back behind. Okay. Um, he's going to, you're looking at him, suddenly he like gets all blurry to you. So you can't tell what's going on. Suddenly it looks like he's like waving back and forth. There's this big giant blur. And then he's going to get up and fly. And um, since he's got to get up, it takes 10 so he can fly 50 feet. So he's flying back over here next to the wicker guy. He's running. Okay. Through. Okay. Next up we have Reedy. But before we get to Reedy, let's let's see, Chris, let's do W. Um, and uh, I don't have N down here. No, do you want me to roll initiative? Roll for N, yeah, because N is coming up. Uh, thirteen. Okay. Believe it. It's 
pretty good. You got 15 minutes too. The W I have is 10, hmm. and we'll go back to W N after this. Uh, how the the strips that uh, is above right now with uh, Lazarus? How uh -huh. far is he from W? Well, he's up in the air, uh, and he's about 60 feet up. No, he's higher than that. Uh, did he fly towards me during his turn? Yes. So he's about... Actually, he's 120 feet up, isn't he? Uh, well, I'm 120 feet. He would be no, 100 feet. Were... Oh, yeah. He got... He'd be 100 feet. feet. He'd be 100 feet, feet high. He's 100 feet high. Okay, let me see if I got anything to hit him with. I can't heal Lazarus. He's too high up. But I might be able to Don't hit him. Don't worry. I'm coming down. I'm right there. He is coming down. He's starting oh, to... Oh, Chaos Bolt perfectly lets me do it. I'm going to try to hit him. Uh, does a le does a sixteen hit? Mm-hmm. Does a damn. Hit. I actually have to cast it at a higher level because I it sure does. I think the, what did I, I say before? I think the chicken was. I think I said thirteen. I think at fifteen. No, he can hit it with a fifteen. Okay. I think it was thirteen. Let me write that down. Sixteen. It's a thirteen. And I will do poison damage to him. Damn. I'm not going off 23 damage. 23? Yeah. And then okay. I have to mark that off in my So you're hitting him with a bolt of lightning? Is that what it is? It's like a bolt of poison. Oh, poison. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm, okay, I'm not going to look at that. I'm just going to say. All right. Mm -hmm. N is on the path. Mm -hmm. so He's doing it. And where, what is, what is, as N is, you're, where, which way do you want I to think N has assumed that he is in no way hell going to make it to the heart of the tree in time. He's and as N is, is thinking that, from behind him mm -hmm. comes this dark mm -hmm. cloud that you saw coming down, and there is a swarm of ravens that are now coming down and swooping down under him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> And a giant raven oh, comes look from, at that. from in front of you <laughs> and circles around behind to pick you up. Coming as well to try to help push you along. Oh, Holy shit. Will that right increase right? my speed? It does increase your speed. Holy shit. You don't have the giant raven. I'm going to put another chicken out here. Hmm. There's a chicken coming at you. You can see. Um, I don't think I have. Is it a chicken? It is not a chicken. It looks like a giant raven hmm. that's coming to assist. It's like coming in, swooping in, as you start to feel yourself being pulled up and along hmm. by these this swarm. It's like a, it's this, uh, uh, like a couple of hundred hmm. of ravens hmm. that are like trying to lift you and hmm. move you along. Hmm. Then I'm gonna see if they can get me to that heart and So time. you if you try to dash <laughs> yourself, <laughs> you would go fourteen. Yes. And they're gonna move you along as well. And they're gonna move you. Let's see if they can see. They're struggling with you. I'm a little heavy. Yeah, so they're gonna move you thirty feet down. <laughs> and guess what? The the <laughs> raven <laughs> does <laughs> oh, let me make sure. Take off your Hold armor. On. Go faster. Hold on. Let me check to see if this raven's going to catch you and be able to help. Is he too weak? Does he need to lift? Do you might need to take off your armor. <laughs> okay. Take your pants off. That's all you need. Your chastity like belt has to go. No, that's magically sealed on there. This raven the extra is <laughs> able to come behind you and aid with the push. And because of that, you're able to go another 10, 15 feet. Perfect. So you're moving along much faster. I'll than get there eventually. Now, that's your movement. <laughs> you dash. Right? So that's everything. Okay? But you can feel that once this giant raven also is picking at you, it's now suddenly there's much more momentum moving you forward. Okay? Okay. All right. Now we're going to go to Reedy. All right. It's your time. It's your plan of action. Yes. I wrote this down last week, so I don't forget what I needed to do. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Reedy is down here. That's right. You're coming into view. Ahead of you, you see a giant 
black tree. Sick. It's much more larger than all the trees that are around. There's other black trees. You don't let that happen sometimes. And uh, right. this one, unlike the others, this tree has got some movement. In it, almost like it's kind of like swaying a little bit Ew. in the wind itself. How eerie! Very frightening. This is spooky. Well, well, okay. Well, so what do you want to do? <laughs> well, I want to go. I want to move forward. Okay, you want to dash? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, you can go sixty. If you dash, you can't do anything. I can't do anything. No. You can't do anything. No, that's going to be your full turn. Okay, that's your turn. Let's see how this gets you. Uh, yeah, okay, this is getting you I? very close to the tree. Itself. What can I see? Next turn, you can, if you have Misty Staff, next turn you can Misty Staff and then go in. Exactly. Gretz, fell to, Gretz fell down a hole. Okay. You don't know so that. I gotta go down. But you don't know. You don't know that. Okay. Do I see the hole? Hmm. Yeah, you should see the opening. No, it's forty feet ahead of you. Hmm. Just okay. misses if you miss these that four. Yeah. Then no, you can use your regular. Goes, how far though? Thirty, 30 feet. feet. But it's a bonus action, so you'll still have movement to go in, and then you can still take an action. Hmm. So. But that'll have to be next action. turn. That'll be yeah, next turn. That'll be next turn. You can still do a bonus action. No, it's your full turn. It's your full. Yeah, it your takes bonus? it takes your bonus too. Okay, so okay, we'll see what he chooses to do. But, but if next. you want to go as fast as you can and still take an action, that's what you should do. I know what I need to do. I'm doing that. All right, the best place ever. We're gonna go down deep. Jesus. In the caverns, damp. Oh, there's spots. an actual like little thing. There's a heavy there. scent of yeah. decay. There wasn't a little picture of it like this. Yeah, the last time it was a horrible picture. Sorry. No, That's fine. Right. There's a heavy scent of decay. Like Sodded earth pervades, carried on air as thick as the shadows. The chamber's pulse is omnipresent. Darn, I didn't get my. Get I like my, the uh, pulsing light effect. Let me get my uh, pulsing Do a couple. Why does he have a weird ear? Before you unfolds a grim pet tableau, a colossal heart entangled in a cage of roots, its earthen sinew, its throbbing ominously. The soil beneath is saturated with ichor, seeping from the heart, casting macabre sheen over the chamber. All around the walls are laced with a living lattice of roots that weave through the decomposing earth, undulating subtly, almost like breathing. At the heart's forefront is an undead priest. He's intoning passages of forgotten liturgy. Let's let's do him next too. We got him somewhere. He's nasty. Nasty looking or in general? No, it was this guy. Yeah, this is good. Summoning Nosferatu. Yeah. Imagine if the Wicker Man becomes Count Von Count. That's who is sealed oh, by a street. Well, then that's fine, and we could definitely have him go fight with Strahd. Hmm. He's more powerful hmm. than Strahd could ever hope. Each unutterable syllable seems to stir the roots, which twist, twitch, and coil tighter around the pulsating heart with every chant. All right, Gretz? Okay. There's cockle burrs that are floating in the wind, and they are sticking to your clothes and they're biting at your flesh like these massive, na- ravenous little ticks. The evil is swelling its size and heart moans. Tics. Yeah, yeah. You feel evil beneath your feet coursing like hateful blood mm. through the arteries of some mm. self-loathing titan whose disdain for itself is dwarfed only by its disgust for all other life. Mm. There are flashes of light revealing a crooked, bleeding lo- tree. Oh, I'm sorry. As Sorry, I don't know what I was writing there. Okay, within the heart itself, as you're stabbing now at it, Gretz, yep. you can see that there is a stake, a dark wooden stake that's implanted in it as well. Okay. Should I remove the stake? Hmm. No, I might be able to weaken it. I don't know, it's up to you, man. Shit. It's your turn, and then I think it's- A stake and a heart usually immobilizes a vampire. So I'm gonna just keep that. I, I blew it. I forgot the priest down here. Yeah. I think he's this guy. Get ready for another fireball. Yeah, so I know. You start. I'm gonna use my last Chris, my last Christmas bonus to get 3d6 HP back as my bonus. Is that a bonus action? Yes. Okay. But I le- it's gone forever. I'm done with it. That's the last one. What was that again? Uh, for five times I could regain 3d6 hit points. Okay. So that that was during the Christmas adventure. I had two left. I used one up during this fight, and now I'm using the last one. 
So it's okay. gone forever. Okay. Four. Seven. Come on, baby. Ooh, 13. Yay! Not too bad. You know, like, uh, a random with a HP deck or a virus? Gonna fucking swing at the heart. Gonna swing at the heart. Was my fucking big spear. Two. Fourteen on one hit, and a fifteen on the other hit. Is that damage? No, it's a hit. That's to hit? Okay, sorry, hold on. And how much AC does a big fucking R have? Let's find out. Sixteen. You missed them both. I missed both, uh, man. Did you miss both? Yeah. I got a two and a three. Oh, God. Okay, really? Yeah. <laughs> Grunts. Go to the Grunts. <laughs> I, rolled, right. I, rolled, I rolled a two and a fucking three. Alright. It's going to take a legendary action to swing at you with its roots. Okay. Got beat 19 AC though. Okay. It has two attacks. Okay. A 19. That hits. And a 22. They both hit. Okay. You take 13 from one of the roof damages. Okay. Slashing. That's half, right? Yep. So it's 6. Yep. And then the other one is 14, so that's 7. So that's a 13 total. Okay. Ooh, hold on. Sorry. Hold on. I'm sorry. This was the legendary action. That's its normal action. So let me go back. I got to roll. It's legendary reaction. I'm sorry. That's my apologies. And this could be a good thing or a bad thing. It goes by a... Uh, yeah, it's a bad thing. Nothing, so good. Nothing good happens to that us. Hits. For da Is that damage or to hit? That's to hit. That hits. I have 19. Okay, so it hits you for 11 piercing damage. Okay. And 6 vampiric necrotic. Eight damage. Eight damage. I need total. you to roll and beat a 16 on your constitution. I know your constitution is good. <laughs> you can't possibly fail my constitution. <laughs> What's no, your I don't constitution, think you can, can you? I got a 17. You just, you almost did. Yeah. Okay. I got a plus 7 bonus. Oh, okay. So I beat it. Hmm. Okay, you're good. Okay, thank God. Okay, so now it's the, the priest. Cool. <laughs> Coughs blood. <laughs> okay. To be fair, the other tank is not with him. Usually the damage well, is done at half Believe point. Me, I know. Okay, I know. That's why this cloud has appeared. <laughs> okay. The DM is doing, doing his best to try to even this up a little. This that, that's where Mary, what Mariel was doing. She was summoning the, the rings. To be honest, if I didn't stun those guys and... We probably yes, it would have been would have worse. Failed. We probably would have failed. Yes, it would have been worse. That's not bad. What the hell was that for? Tassels. Tassels. Why? I don't know. Unnecessary. What would you need to be bigger? Okay. <laughs> Make it huge. <laughs> <laughs> Little dust. She's looking at that again. Damn. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Damn. Okay, he's going to try to. It's only two rounds. Whack you. Where's my. Where's my fucking. Zach. Uh, where's my. She wants him, so she's going to kill her. Okay, I can't find my phone. It's a little too round. So let's do... Somebody look up Thunder Wave for me. Okay, what? sorry. I could do that. I don't know where my for phone is. Frankenstein? So he's going to cast this. Is he going to try to push you back? Wait a minute, he's going to... I'm sorry, he's going to cast Gust of Wind. Okay. Look up Gust of Wind. He does nothing. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I it's want to push it back. Oh, okay. It does push. That's, that's all, that's all I want him to do is push it. That's all it does. Uh, a line of strong wind 60 feet long and 10 feet wide blasts from you in the direction you choose. For the spell duration. Each creature that starts its turn in the line must succeed on a strength throw. Or be pushed 15 feet away. So it, it's on my turn where it affects me. So it's 
So it does it on your turn? He doesn't yeah. do it now? Every time my turn starts, I roll, I get knocked back. Okay. So that's his... So it just works. I just have okay. to roll on my turn to see if I'm I get knocked back. up closer to the heart here. And I'm going to move him next to you because he wouldn't like you being next to the heart. Okay. Now it's the heart. Okay, now it's going to roll its two attacks on you. That's a 21. That hits. And that's a, I think that's a, a 16. Doesn't. Okay. Oh, so the first one hit. is a... Yeah, I don't like this. They gave him too many. Okay, so the first one gets you for 13 okay. slashing damage, so that's the six. Six. Okay. Okay. Six. We're going to go back upstairs. That was a rough round for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. So we got four more. Well, we'll see. Rounds now. I think so. All, all I need to hit it, Sarah, day. is to roll above a fucking four. Really would work, let's show you. Save the white We well, have like four more rounds plus two. Could we technically have two rounds before I, uh... I just have to roll I above a four, four to get to hit it. So we definitely have like six rounds. <laughs> I could start attacking right this, Sarah. Well, that's if I don't lose concentration. And Sarah could attack right this. Well, there's concentration mm -hmm. we only have two rounds. Okay, go back up to Lazarus. I am going to dash downwards, so I'm going to descend 60 feet. Okay. Because okay. you have to land. Yeah, I have to land. That's basically all you're going to do yep. is... Okay, so you've got another 60. Yeah, I have another right. 60 feet to okay. go. Um, so then... That's it, right? Yep. Is there anything else you can do? You just follow the command, but can you do any other action? No, I think that's uh, your command, I, basically. Well, no, I could follow the command, but I don't have any other actions I can do after dashing, right? No. Yeah, oh, so I can't okay. do anything else. All right. Okay, so the Stregan is going to follow you down. Oh, I need to take six damage, one d six damage for the bleeding. I take three. You're getting tough all over. Okay, so that Stregan is going to descend the 60 feet as well. Uh, well, 60 feet is your normal flight. Uh, no. If you wanted to dash... That's 30, 30 feet is my flight speed. Oh, really? 60 feet is the bird's flight. The bird's flight is 60. Yeah. I don't get their uh, flight speed. I just have the flight speed details in my uh, the feet I have for it. Okay, so that Stregan is going to come down 60 feet. Okay, so it is going to dash down. It's heading towards W. Okay, next up we have... Uh, I'm going to defer Muriel. We're going to go to... Chicks, Muriel. The other Strix is going to... Let's see, what's he... Okay, he's over here. He's going to... Oh, this know. way towards N. Yes, it does. He's going to take all his effort to get it's it to bonus again. Action. Okay? Uh, oh, so he doesn't have to go that no, far, but he can out. run right smack into N, who's being pushed. Hmm. That's what he's going to do. Hmm. So now we have N. So all of a sudden, the string has come. As you're being pushed forward, this this bird is now trying to attack and slow you down. I'll try to hit it. Atta boy. I can hit <laughs> something this time. Atta boy. Okay, I know the there's a It's a thirteen, AC. Oh, fourteen hits, yes. Okay, so I can hit maybe both. You have more than one swing? Yeah, I can hit twice. I, I hit both times because I rolled a, a twenty one okay. and then a okay. fourteen. Now, this guy's not doing too well, so, hold on, let me check very quickly. 21 damage. 21? Yeah. Okay, so you're, is that mm. both of them? 
two swings, wham, yeah. wham, you strike it both times mm -hmm. very hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can see that it's blood is flying out of it, feathers are flying out of it as it hits. Um, and it's it's kind of like on top of you now as it's it's being pushed with you and the group. Okay. This group is going to, and this is Anne's turn, right? Okay, so they're going to take you. Uh, that's the chicken. I don't think you're going to quite make it to the end. No, you're not. Oh, sorry. You'll get you know, there in like three rounds. Muriel's not there. From the signs of it, which is pretty good. Okay, and the chicken is on top of you. Don't worry, sir. I guess it is literally take on the top of you. My body okay. okay. All right. Let's go to that ever present. Misty step, 30, 30 feet forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's in the hole. Um, hold on a second. Why do you want him to misty step here? Because if he misty steps feet. here, it's it a free is. 30 feet. Yep. And then he can use a regular 30 feet to go down the hole. And then I can still use an and action. And then he can still use an action when he's down. Because a slide doesn't count as his move. Okay. All right. That sounds good. And to be fair, that was what I was going to do. If no, that's all right. Time. You can take your I had, right? I had okay. it written down. I put move as much as possible. Yeah. Use misty step, which is my next thing. I'm not telling only, you my next thing. The only thing. reason I'm saying it is because, but because, because next thing is my decision. You, if you dash and you get down into this hole, and of course, as you dash, you would have to take a couple of disadvantages of whether or not you're going to see the hole. But let's not do that. Because I was thinking, once you get down in the hole, you could misty step to move once you get in. It's, it'll take more than 30 feet to get in the hole, though. It does take more than 30 feet, but if he dashed... He wouldn't have an action when he's down. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to misty step. Okay. It, a dash prevents an action. So okay. he would get down there, but once he's down there, he'd have to wait until next Okay, turn that makes sense. All right, it's real simple. Roll. Let's the hole. You need to roll, and you need to beat an, uh, a 10. I fucking rolled the one here. Wait! Okay. I don't just see the hole, I see multiple. You see the hole. You see multiple. You... <laughs> okay, so which one are you gonna pick? <laughs> you put yourself uh, in the twenty, so I'm gonna pick the one that looks right. like a man can fit through it. You pick the most inviting one. You're gonna go. You're gonna. You find, the right you find a group of squirrels in their nest. <laughs> oh, so goodness. My only question now. You is find the nut collector. How are you gonna go into the hole? Are you gonna go head first? You're gonna go feet first? It's a hole hmm. that's big enough for you to get through. But body-wise, get through. It's not wide enough for you to walk What kind down. of savage do you think I am? Jumping feet first into a hole? I'm going to go head first into Are the you? hole. Me personally, I'm going to go feet first. No, there could be bugs. Ew. Well, then if I want to see the bugs before bugs, it touches me. No, if there's bugs, you want to hit them with your feet, don't you? No, you I just you, you never go you ask, see You never go ass first until I'm going to go ass first. Okay, all right. So That's how you I'm get gonna, something up there. I'm going to take you over here. Oh, Jesus, a demon cult. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Well, this to... is a horrifying sight, my goodness. I can't do the weather down here. You technically can, you're right. It's technically hard. I don't know. Okay. Do I need the weather? So the only you other thing I want to ask you is... to be is outside to use it. When you get but, to the other 15 feet. Hang on, can I see the sky from where I'm at? You can read the thing just before you well, do it. Well, unless you have a bonus action, because, oh, mm -hmm. you know, you... Mm -hmm. Misty steps a bonus, so he has That's an right. action. Yeah. I do need oh, you, though, to you roll. You can't cast it. I think I read up Because Misty does. step isn't a cantrip. Yeah, no, you can only do one tries. spell to attack and one cantrip. Gee! I thought Misty step was a second level spell. It is. It is. So he can't cast two leveled spells, but he can cast a cantrip and a level spell. So he can cast a cantrip on it. But as you have gone into the hole and you've just dove in, I need you to roll um, a, uh, let's see, we need a dexterity roll here. Oh, no. We just need, you got 15 feet. Uh, oh, I'm going to say you just need to roll, an, again, like a 12, or else you're going to fall on yourself. It's very hard for you to... 14! Okay, so you dive in. You As you dive in, you hit the ground, and you roll, and you stand up. Almost like a uh, Jimmy Carlock. 
It's the blood. He shares the same blood. That was a different person. That was soul swapping and body swapping. That was physical soul swapping. I don't know. How to... I don't think it needs the sky. It says it shoots out from me. Oh no, you're right. The two two E version was different. So before you can do anything. But you can't cast it right now. Yeah, I know. You you have an action though. I know. Give me a second. Two I need you to roll. Uh, another 20. This is bullshit! This is a wisdom roll. Oh, I've got a lot of Because it's a frightful... Pr you haven't no, seen anything like this before. This horrible looking heart. Oh my goodness. This thing dripping ichor and everything. This thing is more disgusting it. than any so of the moths on the rock. 16. Oh Jesus. And you, you can use your wisdom. I mean, any modifiers. Technically 20. Okay, you're good. You're not frightened. I rolled a 19, but I, okay. I, I technically got a 20. Because, because you get a plus, plus one. one? Okay. So you, get very wise, young lord. you get one more action. That is, a, action. that is simply a disgusting heart. Gross. I don't like it. Yeah, you I'm see before you this disgusting heart. Hang on. Let me look at my, my things. Or I wonder if I have a picture of it. I think I do here. All right. Ooh. Mm, no, no, that one. Whoa. There it is. Ew. I don't like that. You also see Grutz with a spear. Grutz is looking pretty bad, I think, right? Oh, I'm really bad. It's a good thing I don't have the ability to heal. I'm a little If we had another turn like the last turn, I'll be in... Foolish Grutz, you brought the weather wizard with you, not the you healing wizard. The weather wizard with you. Yeah. You're feeling good, right? I am uh, going to hit <laughs> You're feeling good about that weather wizard? There's a priest and then there's a... What the fuck can a weather wizard do downstairs? We're going to find out. He's what you got for the next few rounds. I think I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna hit the priest with Ray of Frost. He, he can hopefully guard my body. Uh, once I once I collapse, uh, okay, I gotta make a ranged spell attack. I don't know what he's got. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think sorcerers have healing spells. He doesn't have any kind of potions or I don't know. I don't think so. I, we, we we were pretty depleted. And the only he's oh, hitting okay. the priest. I, I 18. <laughs> so that's probably does an 18 hit the priest? An 18 okay, hits the I'm priest. Pretty sure, an 18 <laughs> hits the priest. 1D, any 2D, 8. The priest has not been hit by anything. No. I was about to be hit with a ray of froth, that son of a bitch. Yeah. I, I'm on a suicide run to at least kill the heart. I'm not sure why he's not hitting the heart. How far does your uh, spell go? 60 feet. Okay, you're good. 11. An 11? Yes, damage. Oh, damage. 11 damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I rolled the 18 to hit him. Okay. He takes, uh, you see some freezing going on of him. Yes. His body turns a, a purplish, bluish hue. Oh, there's the blue. Parts of him. There's your blue. There's your blue. Does he look a little like an avatar now? Loves to be, yeah, everything like the blue, right? His speed okay. is blue reduced blue by blue. 10 until the start of my next turn. Blue butter. Blue butter. Blue butter. Okay, it's ruts. Blue butter. Okay, I have to blue roll butter, to make sure I don't get blown away. Blue butter, what you hold? Don't you get confused. I rolled a nat 20, so I don't get blown away. Oh. I wish I got that for hit. That was so he doesn't get blown. No, no, no. This spell is for a whole minute. Okay. Every time it's my turn, I have to roll to maintain okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna my count uh, of the win. win. It's a concentration spell, so if he takes a big amount of damage, he would have to roll for it. Well, wait a minute. He just took 11. You can roll. If yeah, I need to roll. If it's 10 and above, he's unaffected. If it's 1 and below, he's he, he loses concentration. He's, he's okay. Yeah, he's fine. Then. He holds it. Oh, and that's only fuck yeah! Ooh. So I got uh, 32 with an at 20, and I got Hold an 18. Hold on just a second. Go ahead and... Go ahead. Okay. For damage? You're like 30 feet away. You're not bad. I think I'm a little less than that. So one of the one of the things oh, I have... I'll, I'll be fine for what I want. Or do you want the, the guy? Oh, don't worry, I can I can hit both. If I can line them up. You can hit the guy thirty, and you can hit the heart. Last time you're going to that, so it's a little bit. No, yeah, it's, it's a hundred feet. So I'll be fine. I just oh, have to. You're way okay. No, I have to be able to line them up for what I want to do. You're well okay. I have to line so them let up. Let me let me mark my. So since he dash, he doesn't feature. take up your bonus action. That's fine. I always thought he did. Okay. When you score critical, roll one of the weapons dice one additional time. Okay. So where is the ten? So you do seven. Seven plus nine is sixteen. Times two is thirty-two. 
Is it? Do we take the full die? What? So when we do a critical, you, is it for a net twenty, you do a full die. You okay, do so times two. So that's nine plus seven, sixteen. So that's plus another ten. So that's twenty six. And then because of the effect that I have for being a barbarian at fifth level, which is called savage attacks, I score an additional dice. That's twenty six. That's twenty nine. And then the second attack. Oh, and then the one d four for the flame effect. Twenty nine. That's thirty. And then I roll another d10. 35 plus 9 Jesus. is 44. Dude, I hate this game. 47 damage. Holy mackerel. Let me just check. Okay, so, so you, you see the heart, it like breathes in very deeply. Breathes out. You, you take a big whack with it into it. A lot of blood is okay. out. And you can see it is not feeling very good at all. Doesn't look good at all. Okay. No, no, no. The Golthias tree is going to take its legendary hit on you. That's a nat 20. Okay. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I go look okay. down. I have 26 mm -hmm. HP. So at a nat 20, you're going to get. That's just the heart. Yep, and it's a legendary action. So you hit for 11. Okay. Oh, I can't count. So with a nat 20, I take the damage. And the full dice. The full dice. So what did you roll for damage? What was the dice you rolled for the damage? No, I'm just taking the damage that it, it says it hits 11. I'm just taking its average. Okay. Oh, then just do 11 plus 11. Yeah, 11 plus 11. So it's 22. Okay. Piercing and 12. Vampiric. Okay, so that's 34. So I take 17. And then I need you to roll a constitution saving throw and beat a 16. Hmm. Constitution? Okay. I say it. I got 23. Okay. I don't know if I'll make it next round. Okay. And it takes... We're lucky you want me to. So now it's the, what? the trick of priest. And it's not the popping. The popping wasn't. And the priest is going to see what he can do. Should put these all together instead. Like a thumb? Yeah. Okay, I don't have my... What do I have in my... My phone. Oh, here it is. God, I wonder what I did with it. Pretty strange. It's not over here. Yeah, I don't know where it is. It should be right around here, but I don't see it. Oh, so that's professional. Your phone's right. Is that it? Is that it? This is unprofessional. That's it. Thank you. Same, same upon you. Unprofessional. Okay. <laughs> we have to speak to the manager. I mean, I like what I'm going to call it. Probably is the manager. No, the manager's in the kitchen. Uh. Or in the bedroom. One or the other. Da, 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 da. I believe in you, Reedy. Reedy would work for Thane. You got to finish it. Reedy would work for Thane. I'm, I'm making a 50-50 on me getting knocked out. This time, Reedy this round. Will save you. As long as he doesn't get hit. You, you might get down one hit. Reedy Woodworth will definitely die in one hit. You so don't know that. Go ahead, Reedy. He's only got so much. Oh, no, I actually think I better go. He's half down. Oh no. 
<laughs> Let's hope whatever I do next kills it. God damn. I'm at fucking death's door right now. Really? One foot in the grave. <laughs> I think Gretz is two and a half. Yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm like three feet in the I'm grave. Not far behind. <laughs> okay. He's casting and he's going to throw down. Let me see where are we at. He's going to move back from you. Is he going out of my sphere of influence? Uh, what does that mean? I get an opportunity to attack. Okay. Yeah, he's going to do that. Okay. Let me roll to see if I hit. I hit. Okay. He'll take it. He's okay with that. Plus nine, 13. 17. Okay. So the ground around you starts to erupt. Um, the earth is churning in a 20 foot oh, like, cube shit. around you. You need to make a dexterity saving throw. You'll need to make a. Would you say I can see the ground? Would I say you can see the ground? Yeah. I guess. Okay, I get I get uh, advantage. Okay. And I get advantage in anything that's related that I can see. Or here. As long, as I long need as you I... to be a 16. Is this fucking... What is this? That's a foul. 16. Plus 2. I got 18. Okay. 16, you know. So you're going to take half? It's close, it's a six. That is a six. Yeah, it's 16. You didn't use that dice because it is kind of a... That was around now. I think that one was run over by a car. Yeah, no, this one is like... It, you can still see the imprints of like the members, but it's like really faded. So it's hard to... So I succeeded! Yay! So now I take that half of the damage. Let's hope it's not too much. <laughs> what are you doing? 27. Damage? Is that is that That's even if I save? Overall. Is it what what happens yeah. when I save? I take half of that? Yeah, you take half of that. So then I take another half of that. So that's thirteen divided by two is six. Jesus, that was hard to worth it. Yeah, I should have hit you with a wall of fire. That would have blown your ass out of uh, Kingdom Come. <laughs> I'm trying to hit with a wall of fire. Woo! I am still standing. Oh, was it was a reaction. Huh? It was a reaction. Yeah, use it. No, no, no. It, it, but the, it hasn't had its turn. Yeah. No, it, and it has. It has another turn. It, the, the the big fucking heart thing hasn't had its turn yet. It used this legendary action to hit me last time. So it still has its turn to hit me. So we'll see how much damage it does. So I now it's going to do. I it's, it's, I that's two legendary actions around. Okay. I've only been hitting you with one. Okay. But now I gotta go with that, so... 12... Shit, where is it? I need it. That's not funny. It does. An 18. It sounds like butter. Sarah, do I sell you defense buff? Fire, <laughs> no, so I get hit. Hmm. You're hit? Yeah, I get hit. Hmm. So you're gonna take... That buff has been gone for a while now. 11, hmm. 16, so you're gonna take 17. So half 17? Uh, that's... Eight. Uh, eight. You're gonna see Gratz. He's teetering on the edge. He's gonna collapse. But wait, I have relentless endurance. At one point, if I would drop below zero, I go back to one HP. You're so, at one? Yeah, I'm at one. Uh -huh. Yay for Leaf Racer! Now it's the hard hit. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna hit you. I'm not even gonna do the next one. So it's gonna hit you for another um, six points. I'm down. Okay, Bruts goes down. So what a predicament! Really? What was probably gonna go down pretty quick here? Okay. Yeah, at least it's probably gonna go back increasing. to the top. Where is he? He's by you. What? God damn it! What? Nothing. Okay. Is it's it Lazarus. W's turn? W Longer. hasn't gone. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Did I miss? Yeah, you skipped it. Me. I mean, we keep... I figured yeah. you were trying to stay in the heart no, area. No, 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 no. I wanted to try to hmm. keep everybody hmm. up here. Hmm. Okay. Everyone, for, everyone forgets W. Well, W is going to... Um... So you have a streak and above... Um, okay, so we're at seven. Hmm. Is so, that hmm. speaking flying? Right? Is, is it right at me? It's coming with you, down with you. Right, but is it like in level with me? No, because you were much. Hmm. You went down. I, 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 I'm just trying to think if it's going to get opportunity to attack on me as I'm defending. I'm not going to do it. Okay. <laughs> as a bonus action, W is going to heal Lazarus. 13. Alright. Uh, and then on. as my action, I'm going to hit the Strix. I know 24 hits, and does a 22 hit? They both hit. Okay. Oh, yeah. You might Eight, eliminate it. Plus 14. 29 damage. Okay, let me get to it. Hmm. Which one are you aiming at? There was the one. Oh no, there's one on the end. It's the. It's You're doing the other guy. The okay. one on Lazarus. Yeah. How much? Twenty nine. Hmm. Okay, you can tell it's 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 hurt fairly badly. Okay, so uh, we did W. So now it's Lazarus. Hmm. So you came down. I'm uh, sixty feet. Sixty yeah. feet down. You're sixty feet. You could come down and, and land. I, I I need to think about it because the text of suggestions say I need to try my best at least before. So I yeah I'm not gonna try to game it. Uh, I'm gonna. Dash. What does that mean? I was thinking about it because technically I could I could technically use uh, my misty step and use my last spell slot go down thirty feet. Go down my regular thirty feet, uh -huh. and as soon as I touch the floor, suggestion ends. Yeah. And then I can attack because I yeah. wouldn't have used my action. So I'm gonna yeah. do that. I'm gonna use my last spell slot to misty step down. Use my uh, regular movement to touch the floor, and okay. then touch the floor. Suggestion breaks. Okay. And I'm gonna cast uh, Elder Glass on. Wait, there's the other one is still up, right? It, the other no, one is it's on end. end. It's it's okay, all I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast the one in the air, and I'm gonna roll a. 13, and it's a 21. Let's see. Yeah, that's and that's a nat 1. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to roll your 1d6 for bleed. And I, I, I need to roll that, too. Got a 2 damage, and he is going to take... We're rolling once tonight! You guys are trying to get, die. That's that's okay. It is what it is, right? We're rolling once tonight. It's just happening that way. Destiny's making... Oh, can I feel your dice? It's going to take 20 damage. Oh. 20? Yeah. So, it, oh, it's Lord of the Rings. It is in really bad shape. And this is the D4. Oh, cool. Look at his Lord of the Rings eyes. Whoa. He's got the one ring. How do you know that that's not technically weighing yet? It's how it's shaped. Okay, it's take in the your six. This... This could wind up being absolutely nothing. Go ahead and try, do your six and, and do higher level. I got two. No, Sarah. You got a low. Yeah. You drop an item oh, held in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did my uh, staff. staff. Okay. I did my best. Not that hard. See, not all of these are bad. Okay, that Stregan is going to... That Strix. I really got sorry. a key. Probably the street, that's the street. Well, you go that going to attack you, Wes. Right. Right. That's if you touch him wrong. Run, run away. Of course, I don't roll any ones when I'm rolling it, not for my Sarah turn. was scared. Yes. Was scared. Yes. Sarah was scared. She ran away, you scared her off. You're going to kill Reedy Woodward. She's unhappy about that, huh? Yeah, I would be too if I was Reedy Woodward. Dude, I can, like, get this dice to, like, roll. Do you have some big damage to, like, hit the hard way? Yeah. Wow. Just, hit, that priest can just hit the biggest one you can. Okay, like, the, the priest can be dealt with afterwards. The heart, it does more damage than the priest does. Does it? Okay. Yeah, it fucking hurts. It's what killed me. It did like 30 something damage to me that time. Does a 16 oh, we hit them both? Yes. The okay. priest ran away. Yeah, he's a piece yeah. of shit. I did him for 17. So you take, 
Yeah, I had him for him for eleven, so he's he's been hurt. So he's not even in the room. Damage? No, he's in the room. He's at the edge. Yeah. He's moving around. If you hit it, I'm next to him. Is he the egg? What? Is he the egg? I don't know. That's not what he was. He was slow by ten, though. Okay. Yeah. So if 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 you hit it with an AOE, I'll get hit. That's fine. It happens. No, it's a straight shot. Oh, okay. Technically, it's got five, but I don't think it goes out five. Okay. Maybe it does. But I, I think I can get you not. I mean, it's it's tall, so as long as you like hit it, it's up. Uh, oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit a lightning bolt. Okay, she's gone, so we're gonna go ahead and move to. Really, what? Well, well, we could. The greatest weather. But we need to do W. If she's gone. She had to go to the bathroom. Yeah. She ran away. So we are she gonna ran, go She ran, well, yeah. Grutz is on greedy. the fucking floor. Well, We're going to uh, greedy. Uh, uh, yeah. Grutz, yeah. Grutz is having the eternal nap. What's that called? Right. Huh? What's that? That is the undead priest. Oh. He's now really close to you. Yeah, he, he was supposed to be slowed by ten. He was supposed to be slowed by ten. Yeah. Right? Does he get hit by the he fire? Hit with the well, he'd ah. still, he'd just be ten feet closer to Grutz and that's it. I'll, yes. I'll move him, I'll move him, I'll move him, I'll move him that way. Ah, perfect. Okay. You didn't I say that. I'm sorry. Quite, I, I did. Oh. When I hit him with it. I didn't. I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't remember. I'm sorry. When I was moving. Okay. okay. It's okay, Sarah. I believe in you. You'll be here in like what three rounds? Yeah. How Grutz's body ain't like a ripped pipe. Reedy, it's up to you. Yes. Yes. Reedy, move left. Shall move. But other way, Right here. <laughs> well, okay. Hang on. Well, that. What if? Yeah. Straight shot. Will I hit the heart? Behind uh, you? Yeah. The, heart behind? Okay. the heart's yeah. Chinormous. Yeah, you can't miss. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you're going to hit him. Yeah. Grutz, yes! Grutz is down. Really? What would I have to have Grutz roll? That's really? fine. Really? Yeah, for, 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 a death, for the death saving throw, yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, is... I roll on my turn, which is next. There's, there's only, a, yeah. just so you know, there's only two more good. rounds. Hmm. And then the people that are upstairs that were, hmm. uh, like, those druids are going to be out of their. Uh, they're going to be out of their uh, spell. Yeah. Reedy Woodworth. Oh, you know what? When he hits you, when Strix hits you, Lazarus. Yeah. Did, did you need to roll for con- uh, concentration? Oh, I do. Please don't fucking break it. Ah, it breaks. It breaks. The next round is when it speeds up. Okay, so they're going to start chanting again. Okay. Lovely. All right. I believe in you, uh, Mike. Yes. Yes. Hit him fucking hard. Reedy would have summoned the power of Zeus and or Thor to uh, shoot a lightning bolt. Oh, good, oh, goodness. You've got a lightning bolt. Yes. Wow. Well, that's kind of a last dead chap, but... Yes, is it... Weather! I don't know what level you are. I don't know what anything you Weather spell. Okay. All right. It's a regular fucking You have to spell. make uh, each creature... Okay. It's a hundred foot long line, so it'll hit both the guy. I tried to look it up to make sure, but it just says it's a hundred feet, so I'm assuming it's... You got more than a hundred feet? Yeah. You got it? Uh, so the guy and the heart have to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> How much can the... Well, they have to beat a 16. The heart... Is it a 16? Yes. The heart can make no, a dexterity you know, saving the throw. The stationary heart is very dexterous. I think dexterous. the heart just made it... I think it just saved. I don't think the heart can move, can it? No, it can't move. Well, there you go. I don't think uh, it has it, the dexterity. No, it pulses, right? It, it pulses. It pulses. It pulses It squeezed inside real so hard. Small. It squeezed it's real hard and fucking avoided it. But I rolled a 20. Oh. Bullshit. No, yeah, that then it, it should take half. If you roll not twenty during one of those, it. it takes okay. half. So, roll half on that, so, fucker. But the but the but the the, 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 the priest takes the full. Mm. Okay. I think you're gonna eliminate the priest. Eight d six. Let me write these so, down. Uh, two, six, seven, 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 Takes 12. After that, it's all cantrip! Yeah, you don't have any more spell slots. I can't do shit now! <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you, you're you doing good. <laughs> Fuck it, you heart! Please don't. Because you have to, because, because there's He's something else oh, that's going on. Did you think? What? You didn't think. Oh, look, I've only got so much. Okay. I'm reading Woodward. All right, all right. I'm not God. I'm not all right. Jesus. All right. If I gotta fight the wicker man, I'm wrong. I can't fight that thing. We might as well just kill us all now. 
it's going to be very close. This is uh, very close. I mean, it, it isn't going to, it's going to help that you got this guy. How much did you get him for again? 25. So you got fucked. He got 70 for me, 11 from him, and then another 25. That's okay. The, the, uh, the druid priest fries up in all of the... Oh, they, they both do light on fire. Wait, I don't know if they both light on fire or if... Hang on. It doesn't the matter. The fire doesn't He's, do anything. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about him. The lightning ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. So there's the heart being made out of it's tree light on carried. fire. It's being worn. It's okay. also being carried, technically. Okay. okay. Technically, you missed it, sadly. Bullshit. But stuff around it can... I'm gonna let that can go on a flame okay. and it'll piss At least it off. That looked cool. That pisses it off even more. That the guy cool. just gets he's like a, a match. A All right. up match now. He looks yeah. up. he's got a knob for a head. I'm gonna match. I'm gonna roll for and he just flutters away with that. I'm gonna roll for the priest. A nineteen, I succeed. Okay, it's one success. So is that one? one? Yep, okay. one success. Alright. What the rage of the heart? Can it hit me from over here? Oh you bet it can hit you. Oh that's sad. All I've got is cantrips. It hits hard. <laughs> At least I have Ray of Frost. <laughs> oh, I probably did. It hits this hard. Is probably, this is probably it. We're probably both gone. Okay, so it's... <laughs> yeah, he would work. His AC is 12. Uh, yeah, I rolled a 15 plus no. 7, it's 20. That's the matter. You killed me. <laughs> it, 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 it's going to be hard not for it to hit. It kept hitting me, too. And I have seven, uh, 17 without. I'm fucking... Hold on. I don't know what else we can do. Really? What was it, Dad? Believe. How do you know? Well, just roll for just uh, I'm already half, halfway in the ground. Well, 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 let's see how much damage it does. And you do 17 damage, damage to him. Hmm. Yeah, so you're hit for it was like 7, a 11, so it's... 18? 11, so it's 17 damage. 17. Oh, my goodness. And I need you to roll a constitution and beat a 16. Oh, yes. <laughs> I had the advantage because I got plus seven it's on okay. all of this. It's okay. It's you know what? He's oh, occupying it for a round. 19! Oh, good he fucking job. did it. Okay. That's, that's, that's actually good. very good because... And Jiminy is it just... Was, I mean, Rudy really is getting there. I did. Well, I get plus seven. Because your your HP would have been reduced by what you got hit Yeah. So. Well, yeah. That would okay, have been so right. we're going to go back to the circle. I've got N. So we did Lazarus, so I've got N. And I've got... W. W. So let's do N first. And she's gonna travel. Travels 35. The birds. Here. Carry him a four. Give Missy seven. <laughs> all right, well, he uh, has a. That's all I got. You know, he does have some spell slots. I can Misty step. You, you, yeah, you might want to try and get those back. Do, hmm. do you have that fucking coin? Hmm. The healing one, I do. Yeah, you could cloud hmm. on me when you get there if you want. That's if you think we can't kill it. And I has Misty step, it. so he's gonna Misty step as well. Hold on, you're being carried by the birds. Mm. Oh, okay. Let the birds so carry you towards the, the tree, okay. and then you misty set. Mm. So you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to do it this round, I think, because you can probably misty step. No, you wouldn't be able to make it this no. round regardless. So, so it'll be next round. Do you want to misty oh, step or no? I'll misty step. No, no, don't, 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 because then mm. the birds will be away from you. Let the birds carry okay. you next round, I'll then let do the it. Let the birds carry me. If you let the birds carry you, the birds are gonna take mm. you all the way. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so you have the strix on you as You'll, well. Mm. Oh, I got hit the strix. Hmm. <laughs> did you roll one? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I rolled two in that one. Yeah, she did. She rolled two in that one. So she has to get two of the ones. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! What is nice rolls we've had? And then this is the second session in a row. Now. This is the second two session in a row. Ones. I rolled. I rolled two yeah, nat uh, ones. Two sessions now. In a row. This, in a row. This, this, tonight let's, might be some of our worst dice. Let's see how bad this is. It could be bad, it could be not. The, so tonight might be some of our worst dice. I think we're going to lose. Okay, so I can either go to your head, your torso, your arm, or your leg. Mm -hmm. go to my your leg's already you're... taken and my back's already taken. Let's oh. do a torso let's or head. Arm. Or arm. Arm works You only need one hand. I only need one hand. Which means you can only single hand your weapon mm -hmm. on dual hand. I can't believe that. So That's you, kind you, of you'll, amazing. You'll generally take a dice roll worse than your weapon. I can't. I, I for two sessions in a row, I've won two nat okay, ones. Okay, I need you to roll a high, a six sided die, roll high or low. But if I one hand, I roll a one d eight instead of one d ten. Perfect. <laughs> so you're gonna bleed one d six per round. Okay, one d six bleed. Which so is only for one round. For this round. Three. And 
This is fine. Okay, this this looks like some sort of a This is a slit wrist, so it's also a bleeding. There's only one thing of 1d6 per round. So you can either roll two sixes each round, or you can roll a 12. Okay. So I rolled a six this time. Okay. <laughs> With a pound and bleed out. One d twelve bleed. This is pretty funny. I have a nat one counter here that tells me what all my debuffs are at the oh moment. Oh my god! It couldn't be worse, could it? <laughs> okay, let's go back Holy here shit. to W. I hope you don't roll max on them. And W really has. <laughs> Okay, so hmm. it's it's up to you. You're really here by yourself with Lazarus. These guys are starting to chant again. Yeah, maybe hmm. you can use the And as whatever. they chant, let me just tell you. Hmm. The twigs comprising the wooden statue begin to swell, twist, and groan. This priest up front, he is starting to laugh, and he's commanding. Winter splitter, grow, drink, consume. No. Tell him no. Tell him to do it next Sunday. All right, it's up to W what he wants to do, and then we go to Lazarus. You not any more spell time to get ready to How far is the priest that's talking? He's this guy up here. He is 60 feet. I'm going to move my 30 feet. You want to go at him? Yeah. And then I'm going to throw my sword at him. Okay, hold on a second. Hmm. Are you committed to whatever's... Okay. Do you think you can't make it to the tree? No, I can't. I don't think I think can. Would be it would be it. one, two, four rounds at least for him to make it to the tree. If you dash, yeah. it's probably two. Maybe Is it? Because it's 60 feet, right? It's going to be 60 feet So here. if you go 60 feet down, that's already two rounds just to get to the... Go, get, go all the way to the end. See how many feet are there. So it'll take two rounds to get to the tree area. And then it'll take another round to get to the end of the tree. And then another round to go down. So it'll be four rounds. So it's really up to the other knuckleheads. It's up to them. No, it's it's up to Lazarus. I don't know. It's up to you guys. I it's don't think I don't think it's up it's to It's up to N, Reedy, and Grunts' dead body. Because I, I think uh I think Lazarus is uh, also at the same conundrum where we will both be we won't make it. Does N can make it next round? <gasps> I'm gonna summon my spirit, my spirit steed. Who's that? N. No W. W. Okay. Hey, can you summon your? Can you summon a unicorn? I didn't think about that. Um, hold on. Right into battle. And right into the hole, because the unicorn can't fit down I don't the think hole. The unicorn's gonna fit in the it's hole. It's not gonna fit. At this point, it's too late. I'm gonna what? summon my phantom steed, okay. and I'm gonna ride my phantom steed to the the tree. How many feet can the phantom speed go? The phantom speed can go 100 feet. So it dashes for 200. Which is really fucking fast. Hmm. So I, I think you were out here because I moved hmm. to 30. Hmm. So you're going to go, you're going to get your steed and hmm. can you immediately run on it? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, hmm. and how far can you go? It says 100 miles an hour. 100 miles an hour. We, oh, no, you... uh, sorry, 10, 100 feet. So, uh, it has a speed. Oh, it has a speed of 100 feet, so I can move 100 okay. feet. So, it can da- so but I'm gonna like- dash, so it'll do 200. It can dash. Wait, is, the, is your spell a bonus action or an action? It's an action. So you can't dash. You can't dash. Oh, okay. So you can only go the full 100 feet. It'll only go the full 100 feet. Next okay. round, he can go 200. <laughs> which means next <laughs> round, you can make it to the tree. So you you will make it in three rounds theoretically. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Lazarus, you're up. Where did Reedy go? We may need to take a break. And... Reedy went to the bathroom. Yeah, so that we can see because Reedy's... Uh, but I want to commit to fighting more enemies. <laughs> I mean, if they all decide, well, they all decide to say, well, you, why don't you attack the glowing green thing? Maybe they'll knock it out of the tree. I, I don't know if I could knock the glowing green thing out of the tree. Uh, but you know what? Fuck it. Stricken is, or the Strix is still around. Yeah, it's still there. It's just, I kind of just left it's you on to death's the Strix. Door, just so you know. All right, I, I'm just going to attack the Strix. <laughs> okay. Finish it off. 22. That's, that's a hit. You're going to. 12. You're, the so 12 is a miss. Minus. 
And I can only have it come once per day. Oh, and he's in the winery. I used it in the winery. Yeah. Um, it's a once per day, not once per long run. So it's yeah, still on the same day. No, that makes sense. Okay, I think... I did my best. Okay, uh, yeah, this strict. Let's can take the damage. You see it take the breathe its last, it goes fluttering, and it takes a, a hit full on, and it blasts out. Okay. Feathers go out of it, and down it goes. Boom. Okay, so. Hmm. We still have the strix that's on you, and you you swung hmm. twice. I forgot I to do the strix. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you need to do the strix on him. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I rolled a four, so it doesn't hit you. Okay. It doesn't hit you at all. I mean, I guess uh, that almost implied a one. But. Okay, so we've done Lazarus. So basically, now, okay, Lazarus is the only person out of here, except for W. So let's go ahead and run W just to get him off the board here. That's fine. Which is just 15 feet, takes you off. So you can go 85 more. I'm just starting right basically you guys basically there. Eighty five? Yeah. I wanna see how close I can get to the tree. And then I might dismount and then use my movement maybe. There's eighty five. Hmm. Am I able to dismount my horse and use my movement now? Uh no. 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 That's not how it works. Okay, so that's you, the, you'll be able to do something next turn. But you, yeah, that, that's the most I can do then. Okay, so before we mm. go down to read, let's since we're here, mm. let's go ahead and take in. Mm. And it's going to be pushed mm. all the way to the to the hole. Mm. Yeah, you're easily pushed to the hole. Okay. Mm. And mm. that's that's some something else going on that's pushing you. That's all the, the swarms of ravens. And they're as they do that, mm. they're dissipating going around the tree itself. Mm. You're being pushed and there's one final raven, that big raven pushing you down in the hole. Okay. Okay. Now here's the question, head first or t ass first? Head first or ass first? Ass first. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Because you go down. You that's can that's land you on your feet. Back. That's how you get a D1. You land on your feet. That's He's how, already bleeding at the head. That's how you roll one. Well, well, mm -hmm. roll so go ahead and roll. Make that's sure that. you roll Is your deck. Oh, dear God. And you have to roll a D. I think, what did I make it? A 10? Or did a 10. You made it a 10. You failed. I failed. Okay. <laughs> so you go into. I got a minus two to deck, so I definitely failed that. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't get a one like I did. <laughs> to be fair, his character right now. Oh, I need to roll my bleed. Roll your bleed. Up. Imagine, Eight. Imagine if you roll and knock Eight. it out. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Sarah, imagine if you roll the bleed and you, and you, you get to zero it. as you're going down. So let me see you go down, you're knocked out. <laughs> you just see my conscious <laughs> body. You see your unconscious body hit the floor. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. Oh, that would be so funny. The chicken comes down with you. Hmm. Oh, the big, chicken the comes big in. Raven. Hmm. Okay, the raven comes down, and it hits the ground. It hits on its feet, and as it hits, you see it starting to spin. And you see it spin. Really, you see this it starts to spin. It swirls around, and the raven's shape shifts, and you see in front of you Muriel. Muriel. I knew it. I fucking knew it. And we all said they were over. She denied it. She fucking denied it. Yes. Just remember, Reedy killed the priest. Good yeah. job, Reedy. Everybody yeah. know. Now, if we're in a really desperate thing, you, you can use the point on me. But if you hmm. think you can do it without it, I would go without it. Hmm. Thank God. Reedy hmm. really Woodworth can only do cantrips. I don't need to use the point okay. on me because I have anything oh, okay. that you can do, Anna? Uh, I still have my, my attack and stuff, right? So that was her action. You have your action. I'm gonna Misty Step 30 feet. To the heart. That's game over, girls. Is this okay? Yeah, that's good. Sure you want to go all the way into it? Yeah, I need to, I need to get up and close to it. 
It's up to you. She's got to hit it. She's a melee fighter. Uh, let me see if I have any bonus actions. You see you. laying down before you, Gretz's body. Hmm. You see a priest hmm. as you're running forward. No, she doesn't. You, you see it's a man. It's Ash. You see Reedy hmm. cowering in the corner. What the hell? <laughs> what are you talking about? Reedy would have been the champion right now. <laughs> I thought you said you were in bad shape. Yeah, we're in pretty bad shape, but that doesn't mean I can't do cantrips. Okay, trips. all right, all right. I've got no spells, but I can do some cantrips. <laughs> now the question is, do I hit it or do I heal Gretz? It's up to you. What kind of hero do you want to be tonight? The kind that seeks for the better good, or uh, there's still ways to do it. You could do a ton of damage and potentially kill it. Good for God tier smarty. You could bring me back, which means it'll either hit you or me, and I hit on my turn because I'm next. But you can get the killing blow technically if you do enough damage. I'm gonna hit it, and I'm gonna yeah. use my spells, my third level yeah. spell slot, to divine smite it. Yeah. And I'm gonna try to do. It. Just, Just remember, you got. I'm also gonna still do between. I'm two gonna six out an idiot, it. so I get advantage on hits. I can do between two and sixteen. I have a disadvantage because you're. Go ahead. I don't know. I have a disadvantage. You have a disadvantage. Go ahead. What? Roll with a disadvantage. <laughs> Well, if she gets so if advantage. I use my advantage, it balances out to a regular hit now. Okay. I'm going to take the Kavon Spear and hit with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that might be a smart thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the stats for is a 1d10 plus 2. Can you smite with it? Yeah, I'm going to smite with it. Does a 16 and a 21 oh, hit. 21 hits, the 16 misses. Okay. Wait a minute. No, it is. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let me read something about one of my abilities. Oh, what a load of crap. So 1d10? This is where you also did the wrong thing. Me? Yeah, lightning what? bolt doesn't do, doesn't do anything to it. Only the spear hurt. What? The spear. Ready? Well, let's not fight us. What if I use the spear? Even if you as use a, the spear. As a, as a, 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 a 1d4 to you, your damage. I guess you couldn't use the spear. The spear's still on fire. What if I use the spear? Okay. As a, as a, as I get to re-roll twos. You're right. You're and I get to re-roll ones. Pull upon the lightning bolt. got rid of the guy. That was good. Okay. 13. 20. It's fire. 25. 26. No, 32. Uh, I don't like anything. I'll do it. 35 hard. damage. And it's radiant. I don't know if radiant does anything. Never mind. I can't do shit to it. Okay, it's it takes a big shiver and shudder. Lots of blood gushing out of it. It looks like it's on its last leg. God damn it. It's going to reach out for you with its tentacles and using its legendary action. I got one more spell slot for Rose a higher eight, level spell. 16, which hmm. is a four twenty-three. Oh that hits. It's gonna hit you with this vampiric <laughs> attack. So it hits you for 17, okay. 16, uh, let's see, 11 piercing, 6 vampiric, okay. and I need you to roll a constitution and beat a 16. You got this, Sarah. You got this. I have a decent constitution. I got an 11. Okay, so you will take... What what bonuses does your class give you? Your maximum hit point damage is reduced by... by charisma, strength. charisma and constitution. Oh, okay. The necrotic damage, so it's six damage. So you take your your hit points goes down six. Max. My max? Your total max, yeah, six. I think oh, you've already been hit by this, haven't you? I have. Hit 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 Somebody else hit one of the priests. It was Sarah. This. Sarah got hit twice, I think, so okay. far. Right. I mean, I don't know where your hit points are. Doesn't I'm, matter. I'm not too bad at the moment. Yeah. Well, I'm bad, but I'm not <laughs> too bad. Okay. All right. So at this point. W you might be able so to get it. So now him. it's, yeah, let's go back. Isn't it Reedy's turn? And then it's Grut's oh, yeah, turn? Reedy. It's Reedy's turn. And then it's uh, Hart's turn. Because that was it's a legendary Reedy's action. Right. right. Yeah. Reedy went so to the back. But he gets two legendary Yeah, yeah. Turns. So it's Reedy's turn. And then it's Doss to do his main turn. Well. Reedy's going to check the ashes to see if there's anything you see Yeah, that's there. about all you can do. That's about all I can do. Yeah. You can you can patch me up for one if you want. <laughs> it's possible. Oh, yeah, you can try to bring Well, I'm hoping back. to find a healing potion there. But, yeah, I don't even yeah, if you touch me, I get to one. That's true. I can do that too. <laughs> next turn. Wait, what do you mean I touch and you get to one? Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought they No, can, you get uh, back to zero. You can roll well, for just let me Let me just roll for a double for turn. Hmm. Okay. Did I find did anything useful? No. Oh, so I get to roll my death saving throw. I got a 10. 
Is oh, that's a s- no. That's a fail. I'm I'm pretty sure it's a fail. I was gonna yeah. say that. Okay. okay. One through nine. Mm-hmm. One through ten is a fail. Eleven to twenty is oh, like okay. success. The 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 yeah. uh, one to the ten. The vampiric roots again wrap themselves around you, and they hit you for another twenty-two. So once again, he's going to hit you for seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay. And you need to roll that Constitution. Gotta beat a 16. Uh, I succeeded. I got a 17. Good. Thank God. Mm. Okay. Good. I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Mm. That's just your total going down. Yeah. So. Okay, so. Whose turn is it? W's. W's turn. Mm. W is. I need this. It's my turn. Let's see. I need to go. I don't think there's anything I can do with I can help you for Necron. If you already helped anything. quite a bit. Don't worry. Your 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 round of what you did, Reedy, was very important. Okay, so you're on the ground. I guess you're gonna jump off your horse, right? Did you, did you say? Yes, I'm gonna get myself to the hole and I'm gonna go down. Okay, you got this. You got that easy. You just gotta roll to see if you land. I think it was a D12. Okay, so you land on she your She rolled ass. a one. Shit. Okay. What is with the ones? Oh, you rolled just... like four ones tonight, haven't you? Yeah. I Sucks have. to suck. I rolled two ones. <laughs> yeah, a lot of ones tonight. <laughs> Not a lot of 20. It's blue. I'll say that. Okay, I'm going to do this with your legs. Okay? okay. Because, because you're bouncing around. Okay. That doesn't look pretty. Let's see what this says. Okay, so I need you to. It says compound fracture. I need you to roll high or low. I rolled a three. Okay, this is actually the, not, the, not the bad one. Your bleeding is 1d8 per round. Bleed. Oh. Okay. That's not bad. Hmm. No. Hmm. Oh my hmm. god. And now I'm in the hole, right? I'm in there? You're in there, though. You're okay. Gonna, I'm as, gonna. But as you. I wanna, this hmm. is very dramatic. I want to make sure. I didn't get to do this much, so let me do this. Go back to my very articulate table. Is it a wisdom saving throw? No, no, no. It's just you're going to hear in the distance. In the distance. So you hear somebody saying, Oh, look, the gem within the statue's chest. Glowing now to a bright green, and a massive dark shape is formed within the statue. <laughs> Winter Splinter comes. <laughs> and now you guys won't know anything of what's going on. Because <laughs> I'm going to be down here. The only one I will know is Lazarus. Oh, you're up there still too. I'm sorry. Okay, my my bad. Sorry. Can I finish W's turn? Yes. Or put him in here. Go ahead and tell me what you want to do. He's going to mass healing word everyone in the, the thing. Oh, I'm coming. Woo! What does that add? Uh, I get to heal up to six creatures. Okay. Oh, I'm healing. Come back. As my bonus action. Breath, come back. Sarah, we can play the game of Pass the Spear. We need to fit on it. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Ooh, big money. Is everybody fifteen? <laughs> yeah. I think you just saved the day. Gretz is alive! Sarah, we know which guy was that? Was that N or that w? w? Oh, good for him. Everybody make sure you, you know that that W. Congratulate W for saving the day. W did that. Not anybody else can say that. 15. Oh, Sarah, me and N can play past the spear. So it's the heart's turn. Did we miss Lazarus? I may have missed you. Maybe. Did I miss you? You did. I think I missed you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Let's go back up there because... This is the saw music. So I'm still on the floor. I think, it's saw I think it's the saw music. Everybody's left you. You're all alone. Lazarus, by yourself. I am... There is one Strix left. He's supposed to be around somewhere. <laughs> oh, no. He went with N. He went to the other way. Yeah. Okay, so you see this thing. It's... It's, you can see something forming in the belly, and it looks like it's this Is massive, it giving birth? It's like a humanoid form. Right, I'm going to take out my staff, and I'm going to try to blast it with all the glass. Which, who are you going to blast? What are you going to blast? I'm going to blast the green form thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. I'm going to see if maybe that might delay. He's not taking the body. I think it's giving birth to him. 
So that's a uh, 17. What, you don't like that theory, Sarah? <laughs> I think so it's a wicker man. It's actually yeah. a wicker lady that is pregnant. Yeah. It's a pregnant wicker lady giving birth. That's my theory. <laughs> my theory is that's not a wicker man. It's a wicker woman giving birth. <laughs> when you look at it, it looks a lot like straw. <laughs> oh, no. Does it have a penis? No, but it... No, it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> or he's a Ken doll. Or he's a Ken doll. That's okay. Ken doesn't have a wiener. As hard as he wants okay. to. It's almost still slow. Kind of gets pushed back 20 feet, but I'm not sure if that's yeah, going to happen. Yeah, I think, I think there's yeah. probably a limitation yeah, to probably the like size. Limitation. Hopefully what is going on in there, you're not going to have to try to beat by yourself. Good luck. And I don't think it is. <laughs> I think you're, you're going to be okay. I, we just got to pass the spear there at each other. This, yeah. Hmm. Reedy can come up. Maybe he can get a turn stabbing it. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I can use the spirit. Oh, no, you, it's a martial weapon. Yeah. yeah. I think okay. it death of I the, the only people who could carry is W, N, and U. Yeah. Hmm. Really, what was death not know how to pick up a spear and use the stabbing motion correctly. You're really just going to rush over here. Did she help pick me up? And she's going to... What's your, what's your roles? I shouldn't know. I shouldn't ask. She's going to take out a vial, and she's going to pour it into your mouth. Yay. Okay. So I think that should give you back. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a healing potion. Okay. So how does a healing potion help you if you're dying? I don't think it does. Oh, I'm not dying anymore. anymore. Yeah, I mean, I'm not dying anymore. Him. I saved him. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, well then, there you go, okay. Well, so, heal. so, so I just get healed for the, the amount of the healing potion. Yeah, what's the amount of healing potion again? Are they even rolled it that we were doing, like, get the max? Yeah, I just need to make sure, yeah. yeah. So it can either be, like, a, a regular one where it's 8, or yeah. it could be, like, a greater one where it's 16. Yeah, it's greater. Because hmm. I, I think a greater is 2d8. Hmm. 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 She would have done hmm. that anyway, though. Uh, four plus four plus four. Four plus four plus four. That's not right. Some of them are healing. Greater healing. Hmm. Keeps giving me. Oh, it's forty-four plus four. It says forty-four. Hmm. Yeah. So, that, so the max of that would be twenty max. Hmm. It's twenty. Yeah. And, uh, Thirty-five. Hmm. Okay. I'm alive. Yeah, you're more than alive. So I think she wasted it. That's I'm at a little less than half. Okay. All right. That's her round. Now, I now can... it's reading. Reading what? Going <laughs> to. <laughs> He's going to twiddle his thumbs. Okay. As he does not Let's have go to anything and he needs to bleed a little. He does need oh, to bleed. Okay. Well, I've been keeping track, so... Yeah. I guess I can flashily That's use a uh, ray of frost on the heart. <laughs> that fucking sucks. It, right? so <laughs> it just looks cool. Mm. And now I'm gonna hit. And I will do another Divine Smite. It's my last Divine Smite, but I'm gonna do it. This might do it, though. I should have gone a, a legendary action for a tire. Does a 14 and a 16 hit? Only a 16 Actually, hits. I'm gonna use my inspiration to reroll a 14. You don't have to. Oh, I hit? You're good. Okay. I thought, I thought it'd say 16. Hmm. No. Okay. It's just a heart. Huh. 16 plus... 8 plus 15 plus 4. You're using oh. the spear, right? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using the spear. I gotta re-roll those, because... Yeah. Oh, are. my goodness. You missed the spear. Throw it out. I forgot that the spear... I get to re-roll twos. Okay. 6 plus 7 plus 10 plus 16. Uh, 20 damage. That did explode. Explodes into a colorful light of rainbows. 20 damage and health. Mm-hmm. Please tell me that shrinking coming from the heart. You pierce the heart with the spear? Oh yes. God. The heart starts to turn black. Oh! You. And it starts to die. You can see it's starting to wither away Yay. down on you. Yes! My red is around you start to wither too. Uh, <laughs> you gave it frostbite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ray of frost. Constant ray of frost. Fucking did it. As the heart starts to wither away, the spear in your hand starts to dissipate. 
and it also melts away. No! That's my spear. That's my spear. <laughs> Maybe I can get the real one if I visit Kavan's uh, fucking you tomb. Did. You did it. The heart is destroyed. Oh, is the heart dead? Dead? The heart will then it now flushes out all of its all this blood. And it turns this oh no! Of Chris is on the floor! I'm getting covered in blood! Covered in blood yeah. Oh no! The, the tree hurt. itself that it's all attached it's to, it's like it's a bone and a groan. Oh, it's a ball. It and it dissipates hurt. into a cold silence. You shouldn't you the beating feel proud stops. Of the, blood of your enemy? the heart Kinda. becomes black there in spots, <laughs> and those black spots start to bleed all into each other. Ew. And the tree <laughs> immediately <laughs> withers and droops. You fucking did it. On top of the mountain, Lazarus, as you see what's going on. Suddenly, you see the green gem light beginning to fade within Winter Splinter. Does it happen immediately after I attack it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Inside, you hear a, a screeching and a screaming, and like a moaning and groaning. That's pretty funny. The effigy starts to sort of teeter and sways. It grasps it. It's, it's like they're grasping at itself. It almost feels like it's like trying to attempt to pull like itself and revive itself. Away. You would bleed out next turn. I'm gonna bleed what, out next turn. Wonderful! Turn. The tree, the, 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 the man itself, the, the wicker man itself, the legs start to crumble and it starts to sort of dissipate, you know, like crumble apart and fall. And the, the belly of it falls down. Oh. Some of the branches and twigs and all that crap gets the, 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 the uh, druids that are in front. They get stabbed by it and poked by it and crushed. You can see some of them are crushed under its weight. Poor Wicker man. He but just wanted to be a real boy. Once it's done, it kind of comes down to its. I think like he was a real boy. It's it it pretty close. The green inside of it dissipates and goes away. You see the people, the rest of the druids that are there. All the green that was flowing into it stops. It all dissipates and it goes away. Uh, there's still a lot of rain going down and such. But the people you can see that were surrounding it and. The, even the, the, the head priest has been crushed and stuff. A couple of the people that are still there, you can see they're looking around and they're kind of like dazed. And they're kind of like like this. They're kind of like looking around. They look drunken and uh, like they're like they're out like they're, they're, yeah. They don't. They can't see. The, they can't tell what's going on around them. Okay. Well, again, once again, I have forgotten hmm. about dessert. Hmm. So. Um, at this point, we, should we just play a little longer and then we can exit yeah. this stuff and we can grab a dessert and leave? Yeah, okay. that sounds good. That sounds good. That was close. Closer oh my than, God, yeah. than I thought it would be. We okay, got very you guys close. tell me what to do. Does N bleed? I, oh, I still need to bleed, huh? Yeah. Until N is out. down. Shit. <laughs> I'm going to stabilize N. Let me roll. Well, I get a minus two. Rolling, uh, I get a minus two for this. Kills the heart and fucking falls. Oh, I did it! I got a 13. Oh, good. That stabilizes. And stabilizes. I'm going to pick it up. How did you do that? Uh, you can do a medicine check. But you have to succeed okay. DC of 10, and I rolled a 15. Okay. And I get a minus two. I'm still down, though. I'm just not He's conscious. knocked out, but he's not going to okay. die from blood loss. Okay. I'm going to pick him up. Like, you know how, like, you know how, like, they picked it up, like, in the pose of, like, of uh, someone fucking dying. I'm gonna pick him up like that. I forgot the painting. There's a painting. Okay. God, I wish I remembered it. Uh, All right. So uh, W, you're you're at the entrance. Reedy, you're here. You're you're standing in the glowing. That's right. It's not glowing anymore. It's not bleeding. Like oh that. shit. Oh shit. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go for the stake. You're gonna pull that out. I I think it's cursed though. Let me see, guys, I think that stake's cursed. Yeah, ask Reedy to identify. Uh, Reedy, identify. Reedy has identified. Reedy shall I'm identify. I'm not going to touch it. Don't touch it. Just identify. I think it's cursed. Because if I recall correctly, mm. in the thing, it had the spirit of the vampire dude in it. Yes. Reedy shall cast identify. Okay, so you cast identify on it, and you can tell it's like a, a big hunk of wood that has been shoved into the heart. Yeah. It doesn't feel magic, per se, in and of itself, but you can tell that you want to just leave it there. It's not something you want to retrieve. This is not something I want, as it has nothing to do with the okay. weather. It's probably cursed. <laughs> I, I wouldn't touch it. I'm not touching it. It has nothing to do with the weather. Because I, I, I think... I think... Is an identify going to identify something cursed? Uh, I don't think so. To you can look it up. It, it just, it just uh, tells you it the, the attributes and such of an item. It I tell you it tells you if it's magic. But it won't tell you if it's cursed. 
I can't imagine it would. You only find out items are cursed when you find, find, find out the hard uh, way. Let's just uh, you choose one object if it is a magic item or some other magic imbued object. You learn its properties and how to use them. Okay. Uh, you learn whether any spells are affecting the item and what they are. If the item was created by a spell, you learn which spell created it. Okay. Is it magical? That's that's see that's that's the crux, right? Is a curse magic? I would say yes. Sarah, look it up. D and D is is a so, curse so magic. Say, can you identify a curse? There you go. Can you identify a curse object? Because I'm fairly certain from what we heard. You can you can tell it's not a curse. Okay. You can tell that the heart just because you cast identify around this area, you can tell that this yeah. thing is dead. Yeah. That you did kill it because you used the spear. If you want to take this steak, it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice, beefy, large steak. S T A K E. We can put it in Strahd's heart. It's up to you. I'm not touching it. I'll, it well, has nothing to do with Well, if it's item. not cursed, I, I'll take it. No, cursed items. Most methods of identifying items, including their identify spell, fail to reveal such a okay. curse. So how should I touch it? Although is the there, is, is, the undead, it. is the undead wizard like like how, how has his body condition? He's ash. He's ash. Like fully? Yeah. Fully, truly? Fuck. He's Fuck. I disintegrated that. Are we going to cut his hand yeah, off and have him hold this fucking steak? I, I think we just leave it. I'll well, we'll leave it. Let's go. Hmm. Let's, let's leave it. Hmm. I okay. think whatever is in it is keeping something out of it. I'm 99% sure, if I recall from what we what we learned up, the reason why his spirit was in the tree was because the steak was stabbed into it. Probably. I, I think, think that was the stake that was that staked him probably in another life. So let me see something. Because I feel like if we remove it, it's going to bring something out that we don't want to fight. But it's already gotten removed. The heart's oh, dust. Sorry. Okay, are we going to leave now? Yes. You yes. Off. There's nothing more for us here. Hmm. The only way out is the hmm. hole. We crawl. All right. Through it. So everybody's going to go back and crawl through the hole. What wonder if victory? Okay. As you guys are walking back, Muriel says. I guess I got some explaining to do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. Okay. I so, as you guys are crawling back and you're walking back uh, through, of course, you're going to run. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's think about this. You guys don't know what's going on up top. No. So, she, she's, she's going to, as you guys are running, she's going to say to you, she's been uh, kind of following you ever since you came in. She's one of the, the, the keepers of the feather. There are a few keepers of the feather that are from the bloodline from Kavan. Kavan is the first wear lycanthrope that was created. His oh. relationship with oh, one of the fangs. So she's a blood direct bloodline to him. Oh, wow. That's, and that's cool. why she says wow. we were able to raise his spirit. We were able to raise his spirit because I'm blood kin to him and because of your charisma, because of your, uh, your fortitude charm. and your charm, yes, and who you were and his belief that you, yes, had the capability to rectify what was happening here and correct what was going on. That's how you were able to we raise We almost Kavan. did it, but we He's did. not been raised before. <laughs> guy we'll probably that. not see him again, and we'll probably not see his spear. And she said, you yeah. know, that it was, yeah. thank God we were able to get that away. Was, that was a bitch and That spear. thing was important as a, as a, yeah, as a blood, as a blood letter, very important. <clears throat> she said, however, you never know, we can come back to him. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, you never know. All right. Else, so you as you guys are running up, you're running back through. I'm not going to go through each of these sections. But as you run back through, you can see from the circle as you guys enter from this area that the, the, the lighting has changed. Even though it's still drenching rain pouring down and such, you can tell that uh, as you come running out, you don't hear any chanting. You don't hear any of the things that you heard before you don't hear any of the drums or anything like that it's like everything except all you can hear is the rain and the thunder itself uh can i go and run over to the you can do anything straw man and yep. i want to search around the area where the green glow is coming from okay so that's about 30 feet up okay so how are you going to get to so that's my movement you're gonna go over to okay, him. I'm gonna walk over there. Okay. And I'm gonna search the uh, search these uh, all the uh, yep sticks and stuff. So all the crap that's on the yeah. ground. Do you think okay, it's in there? Okay, so he's down to his knees. 
And all you see in there, you'll see something yeah. like, you, can you see the head priest has been obviously crushed by all of the sticks and, and stuff is sticking in and bleeding, you know, it's been blood, let blood. There's a couple of druids who've also been stuck by the twigs and the, the, the branches and such, and they're pierced and they're bleeding and they're trying to pull them out. And they're getting some of the others to help them. And they're all looking at you like, who are you? Some of them are talking to you and saying, who are you? Why are you here? What's, what's going on? They're trying to help the others that are bleeding. I think that's, wouldn't that just be this whole uh, man? The weapon of vengeance is a spell. I am going to say. Because I uh, healed in revenge. I came late for to the ritual. It tells I have a weapon try to of vengeance. Make my voice wouldn't the blood spirit be that? Because he wanted revenge saw. for what happened to him. Okay. Come on. So they're going to say, what was the ritual? What is what is this apparition? What is this epic? You don't have any strong You don't have any strong Yeah, look for an opening near the root. You no, it's very vague. That could be the right, imagery of vague. Yeah, but we need they said we are we were we'll doing something old. I guess something something. I think this is a sign. Is it? Like is a it? Vampire, mm. straw man. You can see they're this looking the at each other. They're very like surprised. What was this for? This is the holy sign. Uh, you wanted this is a person. From what I've heard, is that you're gonna use okay, it maybe. Maybe this to is kill something. everyone in the valley. It could be a different entry though. It doesn't stay. You're going to take it and, and do this to the valley? You're going to kill everyone in Barovia mm. and take back the area for the druids. Who is but this? Who's the right? Remember the earth being uh, dead. The, I'm going to point to the dead, fresh uh, Shannon druid leader. Okay. I'm going to say he was. You're going to blame him, huh? Yeah. He, I think it was Strahd ultimately because he was using a spirit. You guys are actually summoning a spirit of a vampire into the straw man and it was probably going to obey Strahd's command. So you guys are probably mind controlled by Strahd to do this. They're kind of looking at you. This is confusing. This makes no sense. Makes perfect sense. Well, does it make sense that you're staying here with all the, this like transic figure? Uh, I do not remember creating this. Yeah, because you were probably charmed by the <laughs> devil for doing this. Charmed by someone? Yeah. Ah. Uh, and they say, did you stop him? Yes. Fuck yeah, I did. You did? Yes, me and my uh, You are to be praised. <laughs> yeah. Can you, uh, there was a stone. Was you guys stole a, a stone. Credit. And I think it belonged to one of the, uh. A stone? Yes, a stone. I think it belonged to, it, it was a here. very precious stone to me. And it's somewhere, I don't know where you guys took it, but it's the reason why I came here. They're just confused. They're looking at you. We don't know anything about a stone. What did it look like? Uh, it was a green stone. A green stone? Yeah. They're looking, they're like, you can see they're searching. They're like racking their heads. And they're, they're like, they don't know. It, was, it, it seems like I feel like something was green, but I don't remember. Yes, yeah, green. Uh, what? Do, oh, all right. Uh, it, it should be like a, like a gemstone. Michael. What? It's probably in the Wicker Man. I know, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. Well, anyway, I, I, I need my party can explain more about what was going on. But first, we should, my group. I'm part of the uh, my Sky Blue Rose. Oh, you almost said why? You well, fucking traitor! I'm part of the, I'm part of the Sky Blue Rose. Uh, we're, we're, don't know who that is. We're monster slayers. Oh, okay. So you are not a Barovia. I, I am a Barovia. Barovian, but my uh, group is not. They came through the mist. Why would you care about us here? Uh, if they are not from Barovia, why would they care to correct what is going on here to kill this vampire? Uh, because they, well, they had their own reasons coming here, but I honestly think... Whoa! Hmm. I honestly think... Yeah, I, fucking just they're say looking that. for Van Richten, and I think they want to do right yes. in this land. The vampire hunter... Yeah. Rudolph Van Richten. Is he not dead? Nah. Uh, That's up to you. He probably is dead, but he has other slayers and other leaders of his uh, organization. What can we do to help you? To thank you? Uh, first off, we can help out your friends who are currently crushed underneath this and try to help any survivors from this. So we, can, we will work to start pulling people. That's yeah. what they're doing anyway. Yeah. Kind of starting to pull. We can do that and talk about the rest later. If you come by a stone, hand it to me immediately. A stone? Yeah, a stone. All right. A green stone. All right. 
And we're going to start working to like bind the wounds of some of these people. You can see they're having to pull like some of these sharp things out of them. The wicker man is standing up in front of you. It's huge. You can see inside of it, there's a stink. There is some sort of like form inside, way up in the belly area. Now that's up, you know, it about was giving 12, birth. 12 feet or so above. What? I it think it was giving birth. It was giving birth? The belly I think so. Area. There's a stench. It has a stench like in the belly. Ooze and this dark black <laughs> crap that's in there. <laughs> I'm going to go up to the to that area. Okay, are you going to climb it? Or yeah, I'm going to climb it. Do this? Okay, if you're going to start climbing the wicker man, we're going to have to roll to make sure <laughs> you don't fall. That you don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> so for every... Athletics, I think. Well, I got a two. So I do fall. You do fall. Yeah. He so you need to try to climb and you fall. If you're going to fall. I, I'm injured, injured, yeah. So go ahead and roll. You need to roll for your bleeding, I think, too. Uh, yeah. So roll for your some bleeding. Okay, make sure you take that out. And then if you fell, you didn't fall very far, so I'm going to say roll a, a six-sided die. And take whatever grief from the six. Three. That's okay. Good. So I'll, as you're falling down and you're getting yourself back up, and they're kind of looking at you like, what kind of hero is this? You can tell. I, I'm, what I'm the absolutely hell? battered right now. <laughs> it's okay. All right. They don't. Okay. There's, you can see Smiley. coming through the, 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 the furrow, the, the tunnel areas, the channels, um, you can see Grutz and N and W and Reedy and Muriel are, are coming running out. So you guys are running out and you can see the blaze, the, the, the fires that are still going even through the, the light. But you can see that the worker man is sort of come down, and there's no chanting or anything going on. We did it! So you can see up to that area. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we did it! I'm gonna body. shout out to them. Don't attack! The, the druids are charmed, or mind control. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask, okay, what did the druids heal this man? He's knocked out. Yeah, Gretz is carrying in right now. Okay. I'm Princess carrying in. I'll pull the fuck in. Druids have anything they can heal with. They they're know. healing guys. They must need they, they? one of the very first Maybe they, they're carrying good them good berries. Do they, they, have they have any good look, berries? Yeah, do they have any good Maybe berries? Let me look and see. I can climb the wicker man. I'm just gonna have to use a regular druid because all I'm these gonna, druids are bad, nasty druids. I, I'm gonna go and bandage myself up to stop okay. bleeding. So I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna say, yeah. They have a good berry. They should have at least some. A good, good berry is provide. the basic thing that druids okay. have. Okay. How many good berries do I get? Six. Yes, I get six HP. They only heal for one. They only heal for one. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna. Then I guess once I set end down on <laughs> life, now so set Muriel is going to say, "Where's the gem? It's up there." I'm gonna say it's probably up in the stomach. I can get it. Yeah, can you check? Uh, I, I can check too. Kind of want to not do. I. I, know I, I I'm not gonna change in front of these druids. I can. I can, I can climb. I can climb. climb? Yeah. I'm going to climb. I'm I'm trust me, I can go up there and get it. No harm. Well, yeah, but who knows what's fucking in there? Huh? Who knows what's in there? What do you mean? Like, what well, happened? There's some scary dude in there. It's dead. It's dead. You yes. smell that stink? Yeah. You killed it. I'm going to be. You know what stinks? Zombies. I, by the they way, do. I, I agree. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah. I don't disagree with that. Yeah. She says you can call him if you don't trust me. But I trust you. You can trust me. I trust you. I mean, after all, uh, you're, let her you're get my it. Game. Okay, I'll let you get it. Uh, I'll just. Uh, she says if you don't mind, I'm going to go behind a rock. I kind That's of. It's fine. kind of an ugly thing. I kind of want to see what's in the stomach. Oh. Oh, you want? <laughs> so while this is happening, I'm going to be laying my back against. I want to see what sort of monstrous thing is in the stomach. Then, and I'm going to be bandaging my. Uh, okay. Uh, so. Muriel goes behind a rock, and from behind you see flying up is a large raven. It's got a nice purple sheen to it that you've seen before, bluish purple streak to it. Wow. Flies up, goes into the belly area. You see it looking, kind of crawling around. You can see her. She's crawling around. She finds a hole to go in. You can see her inside, and she's kind of flying as she's up there, and she's kind of moving up and down, and then she can see her come out. And she flies down and she lands in front of you. Again, she's pretty big. She's like, you know, a couple of feet That's tall. That's really big. And uh, yeah, she's really big. And then she's going to, uh, in her mouth is the, the 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 gem. She's going to drop it into her claw, and she's going to like kind of pitch it in front of her. 
I'll pick it up. Okay. All right. Del uh, uh, Lazarus, did you want to look at it? You, you always seem interested in this kind of stuff. All right. Okay, so the gem itself is about the size of a pine cone, mm -hmm. and it kind of has oh, that man, shape. Oh, it does so have that shape. It's rather large, and it's kind of modeled in itself, and you can see it's a deep, like, emerald green. It's a very, very beautiful green. Honestly, the coolest right. part is that it's shaped okay. like an acorn. I'm going to say, I'll put this away for That's a safety thing. That's the coolest thing. thing. And they're going to see you. You're talking to who you're talking to. The, the, the yeah, I'm going to add it to the group. And then you're going to see me, like, disappear. <laughs> okay. You're going in your ring. Yeah, I'm going in my ring. Okay. Does Who's holding your ring? ring. The, the, ring falls falls the, hand. the ring falls to the ground. Do you Looks expect like... us to pick it up? Christ is going to go up to it. Why would I shove it up my ass? <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. Tubby's going to stop it. Tubby will put it on his finger because I don't think it'll fit Gretz's finger. Okay. I, no, it would be too small. Oh, it would be too small. <laughs> so, I guess that's the um, so um, what else are you going to do? Now what are you going to do? Uh, I want to talk to the druids. Okay. And I want to... Druids going to go behind the rock and change again. Hmm. She's going to come back. I'm up. going to ask them if this is the place where we could find the Seeker's reliquary. You're looking at each other and they look at you. Hmm. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Do, should we just say the full thing? Uh, the power you need to face the devil is kept safe under the careful watch of a member of the earth. I see a dead tree perched high overhead. Look for an opening near the root to find the Seeker's reliquary. There's a ritual path to be taken by one alone. Does that remind you of anything? To you, don't know. Hmm. Is there any place where there's some like undead creature looking, guarding? There's trees all around. You can, you can look at any of the trees. Well, could it be meaning that one area where the heart was? That's what I thought, but... No, because this is where we get our weapon. Yeah, but did we fully search out that area where the heart was? I guess we could go re-examine the area. Yeah. I'm going to go back into the tree area to see if I'll I can follow, see any I other guess. holes. Okay. Is everybody going to go back there, or how do you want to do this? Yeah, I think well, we're going to go back there. I'm going to have my ring hostage, <laughs> so. uh, I think, who, who picked up w. the ring? W. Yeah. Did. Okay. <laughs> So what are you going to do with the ring? Hmm. He's just going to put it on his hand. Technically, if I showed up my ass, he can't split my ass because he has to be no, in no, a no. safe place. So I technically exit in a safe area. Yeah. All right. So you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed this up a little bit. You guys yeah, it won't be the ant man. The sides are hmm. just awful. It's nasty mess. Hmm. It's all bloody down there. It's, um, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's like, it's like, you it's, know, it's a horrible, sickly smell that's going on in there. But you don't seem to find anything that is an indication of any other kind of You know, thing. if you really clean up this place, this could be a nice place to live. Nice hobbit hole. Who are you it's talking to? Everyone. I'm just saying. Uh, okay. You just got to clean it up. Um, <laughs> you just got to clean the place up. Muriel's going to say, you're a, you're one sick fuck. No, you have to clean it. You have to clean it. <laughs> Who's going to clean this? <laughs> well, what do you think the Druids are going to do? Whoa. Leave this hole like this? Whoa. She says, maybe we let them clean it up and we come back. And there you get, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I wouldn't clean this up. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm the interior decorator, not the cleaner of messes. That's what we ask of them. That's the get. That's the, the what they can do for us. That's true. Because if they clean all this up, then maybe whatever it's it is like, you're looking for will become evident. It's like the opposite of a treehouse. Who's gonna want to come down here and deal with this? Snakes. People with OS a lot. They probably also a Muriel's family. Uh, not my family. They're not coming back here. I don't think so. What are you talking about? Why would they clean this up? This area will still remain. No, the druids will still come oh, back here. She's, yeah. she's telling you, this will still remain a sacred place. Okay. The druids will come here. But if we ask them, you know, they are beholden to you. They they think you've... I, I, don't, think, them, I don't think right? it's going to be here. Yeah. Okay, I don't think it'll be here. It could be under any one of these trees. Hmm. We need to well, find it. Any other, says, if I was, is there any other descriptor? I mean, it's you guys are the you guys are the heroes. The key here, here is you the member of the. But I just says I really really mm -hmm. feel better if we went back to the winery and we got we got the mm -hmm. we brought the gem back to where it belongs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. So what mm -hmm. we're looking for is a dead tree at the highest point of an area. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. She's like. That's this is kind of it. This That's guarded it. by a member of the earth. I think you're here. Or I think you need to come back. Okay. Yeah, we need. When I don't know. Ask them to clean it up. Okay. I don't, I don't want it. Okay. Have anything to do with this mess. See, Sarah, you're right. See, you think that. Yeah, think right. She thing. says to you. Like can I yeah, see that, you, I thought the weapon might have been so the she's gonna spirit of on. Mm -hmm. And she's going to say, "What is this? Where did you get this?" Madam Eva. 
That's just from Madame Eva, the Vistani woman? Yes, yeah. these are to help us fight the Dark Lord. I'm also supposed to find because... This is a gift to fight the Dark Lord? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is why we've been searching. I, what is, I know you were there. I saw you there. I have to find mm -hmm. one of the things I have to find is Kavan's grave. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Oh, it's oh, it's down there. Mm -hmm. Yes, you were at it. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, I'm supposed to get. I'm supposed to do something there. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> I gotta look through if I can find my my uh, little little. No, you, you did it. Mm -hmm. Oh, she did says, I? Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Who told you this, mm -hmm. Madame Eva? Madame Eva, yeah. I mean, I've been following you all. You've been very busy. She says, I, I have to admit, as soon as you came in, I've been following you. You've seen me. She says, in fact, one of you uh, did something very bad to one of our members. With, who did that? It was, it was Chimney, right? Was it she Chimney? Says, it was Chimney. No. And for that, he has oh. paid the ultimate price. Oh, Randolph. 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 I had my... Uh, uh, familiar kill one in the raven. <laughs> she says, at first I did not know what to make of it. You were very close uh, with the, the keepers of, of abandoning you. But I saw what you did very good very quickly. And uh, I've been following you the whole way. That's who uh, you've seen. I tried to keep you away from the, uh, the windmill. You, oh, you wouldn't okay. go. We're you kind of hard-headed. Well, when it's we see right. a problem, we fix it. It's good. <laughs> I like or that. Break it. I like that. Look, there, look, look. There, there are there are a bunch of bitches. So I'm gonna say that. They were bad. It gave me nightmares for a long time. She says, uh, "I know that you have also visited with Vistani, and I know that you've also visited the dust house." Yes. She says, uh, "We need to go back. We need to talk to Davian." I okay. Think, uh, I think you you what you've accomplished here is extremely important, and I don't think we want to spend too much more time here. If we have to come back, we'll come back. I'm going to ask the druids if they could purify the inside of the tree. Okay, so you're going to leave and go back? Okay. So you can instruct them what you want them to do. So you want them to clean it. Clean, like clean it, it and purify, purify it. Purify it. Make it nice. Okay. She says... Uh, Maybe water the tree. Just a little bit. The tree itself? Yeah, the dead water. tree? The tree above the death tree? Maybe well, says, maybe if you purify, it'll turn into a good tree. You are you are exactly. now give love and You care. are now part of part of my clan. She says we can send someone back here. Okay. I can come back here and I can check it anytime you want on what they've done. I okay. will I will change and I will appear to them as I am. Uh, and I you know now now you have our services. Awesome. Well, it's going to make things a lot out. easier for you to find out what's going on, to scout. She says, we're not we're not fighters, but we, we can help you with those things. Awesome. My familiar is the ultimate scout. Your thoughts are... All right, so we're going to go ahead so. and end it for tonight. That's true. You guys uh, are going to go ahead and make your way back. <laughs> and as you're going back, Muriel is going to explain, you know, a little bit more about the keepers. You know their background, like she told told you and said. She'll tell you there's only a few that are like her. And she's also the other big thing she's going to tell you is that um, the werewolves are the other only other lycanthropes in Barovia, and their gift was passed down to them from the huntress. Oh. Okay. okay. So next week we'll go back to the winery and maybe you can feel good about. We'll yourself. get our wine made. I have my label you drawn need out. To make yourself feel a little bit. You got it? Okay, good. Okay. And with that, you guys Bye. made it. Bye. Bye. It was close. It was. It was close. But we did it. Bye now. We'll see you next week. So I, I did, you know, over the week, I did realize. I didn't know all that was happening to Ann. So when... Thank <laughs> you.